All right, what up, guys? We are live. We got a fun night of speed dating for you. So first on the top right, we have Grace, fresh from the Hello. Uh, fresh from the fresh from the domestic abuse shelter. We got her mm -hmm. back. Bear uh, my battle scars. <laughs> then we got Mayu, returning veteran to the channel, uh, and my newfound Finnish love, Chrissy. So you guys know Hello. Chrissy from the video that I released uh, something like three days ago, and now she's obviously a PWF YouTube celebrity. Uh, so you guys know the rules. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to let people on one by one. You must have your camera on. Uh, I don't want to, you know, I'm not going to bring on anyone who doesn't have their camera on. Uh, in addition to that, their early bird gets the warm. So if you wait too long, you probably won't get on. So I recommend you try to jump on as soon as possible. Uh, everyone will get five minutes. And if you pick multiple girls, you get to skip the line. So quite often what happens is the backstage becomes full and people are like, oh, how do I, how do I get in? Well, pick multiple girls. We'll try to give you honest, brutally honest feedback. And I think also Torsha will be jumping on. Uh, oh, time difference. Okay, uh, Torsha will be jumping on in in uh, in uh, twenty minutes. Okay. Anyway, yeah, we got the time frames wrong because she's in different time zone. Duh, my bad. All right, guys, I dropped the link. Uh, so I guess let's do quick intros. Uh, Grace, for anyone not familiar with you, who are you? Yeah. I'm a I'm a live streamer. I stream with my dad at Thorpe TV on YouTube. Uh, we do debates. We talk about relationships. We do IRL stuff. And um, he has court tomorrow for a domestic violence case that is totally retarded. So tune in tomorrow for our updates on that. Are you going to be videotaping the case? You know, I can't film in the courtroom, but let's just say I have a very good memory. Okay. Mayu. Um, I'm Mayu. I am just someone who lives in Miami and works out and goes uh, to work. <laughs> oh, but, funny. I also know someone who lives in Miami and works out. Uh, I can't, I can't put my finger on it though. Who could it be? Uh, <laughs> Chrissy, maybe you can help me figure it out. So give a quick introduction. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Chrissy. I'm also in Miami. I work out. Oh my God. My God. I'm so crazy. Um, I am also a model. I model fitness. I model a lot of brands and I'm also um, a doctor to be. I'm studying neuroscience. So yeah, I'm also smart ass, a little bit of a nerd, but. Oh, this is the infamous dog that you told me about. Yes, right. he's crazy. Why does every cute Miami girl have like a small dog? It's never a big dog. You guys all have. I, I should dogs. get a big dog because these don't protect me in the streets, you know? <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's bring on the first person. So, uh, Ch -ch -ch Dawson, I believe you were here first. Uh, and then I'll get you on, Benjamin. So, Dawson, turn on your camera. Give me two fingers. So, no, you're not a big flash. Oh, okay. Perfect. Bring you on. What's up? Hey, how's it going? Pretty good. Just chilling, just chilling. So, who do you want to go on a speed day with? Or you want to do multiple girls? What are you thinking? Uh, Mayu, please. Mayu. Okay. So, so. Chrissy, the way this works, I'm going to take you, me, and Torsha off for five minutes, and I'm going to bring everyone back on. So I'm going to put everyone backstage. That's good. Hi, how's it going Hi. today? Good. How are you? Great. Yeah, I know we talked before for a couple of minutes, and I also wanted to get to know you too as well. Okay. <laughs> and I, I wasn't on here just because I wanted to. I'm on here because I actually, like, I am in the dating and I am looking for uh, you know, relationship or I'm looking for companionship too as well. How's that going? Well, it's going. <laughs> <laughs> How about you? How's your dating life? Um, I don't know. It's pretty uh it's it's come to a, a halt, I guess. I just have been like avoiding it. <laughs> I haven't been uh Everyone's kind of annoying at this point. So just... yeah, you're so annoying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm one of those. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so I'm, I like to describe myself as kind of like a craftsman. I'm like an artist. Uh, I do lots of photography, um, like uh, nature photography and architecture. I was just out for a walk the other day down by, um, down by the art gallery it was a perfect day out with nice lighting and, and I just uh, was able to snap a few shots uh, going, going out there. So that's kind of what I, what I was doing the other day. That's cool. You yeah. What, what have you been up to lately? Oh man, this week, I mean, last week I had a friend visit me. Um, so I was trying to show him like everything I knew about 
uh, the fun parts of Miami. And then this week I've literally just have been at work and then at home. And then I started this new show and the gym, like, and then going to bed and waking up and starting all over. (laughs) But this weekend, I I either want to stay home and better myself or go and do something. So we'll see. So you're going to show me around Miami next week on our next date? (laughs) <laughs> are you coming to Miami? No. Are you coming to Niagara Falls? That's the that's the real question. Uh, I don't know. I don't think so. <laughs> oh, what's stopping you? I don't know. I I like uh, I like Miami. I guess. Well, hey, I have a nice fire right here. I just put some logs on the fire, so nice. it'll be nice and warm. Just like <laughs> <laughs> just like I, I crack that's myself it. up. <clears throat> yeah, that was good. That was good. When's the last date you've been on? Um, it was uh, well, a couple speed dates, right? But it's really been like since uh, last uh, December. And um, why? yeah, so how, what, when was the last uh, date you were on? Wait, wait, why? Why has it been since December since you've been on a date? Uh, yeah, I've just been working on myself. Uh, I've been going to the gym too. I uh, do some swimming, and um, you have issues. Or what do you mean working on yourself? <laughs> no, you got issues. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, um, I just said, hey, you know what? Uh, I'm going to uh, just go <laughs> go in the pool. <laughs> Nothing wrong That's with that. It. That's why. <laughs> you're, uh, you're, you're challenging me. Usually when girls challenge guys, it means they're kind of interested in them. I'm challenging you? What do you mean? What? See, you're doing it right now. I'm question. I'm asking <laughs> you a question. I'm trying yeah. to engage in conversation with you. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's all you got. That's all you got. <laughs> you just said okay, so I don't know. That's oh, okay. Just, I'm rolling back. I'm rolling with the punches. Do you have any pets? No, I actually. Uh, I'm a property manager, so now I don't like animals at all. Get them out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I have uh, guinea pigs. Uh, one's name is Toopy and one's name is Ace. Oh, okay. That's fun. What do you do with them? Um, just I uh, say hi to them and I, I pet them and I, ta- I, I, I keep them company. I'm a very responsible pet owner. And yes. um, when, when we Thank share you. our apartment together, I'll make sure that um, <laughs> they don't get out of hand. That's a, that's a pretty bold statement. Um, I feel like guinea pigs stink, so I don't think I'd want to live with a guinea pig. <laughs> well, the, the, we'll we'll keep them in the in the basement, so you don't have to worry. <laughs> okay, good to know. <laughs> uh, what else, Dawson? What you else? Pic- you just take pictures. You just go to the gym. You swim a lot. Mm-hmm. Yes, uh, <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. I have uh, yeah. two offices in Niagara Falls and one in St. Catharines. And I'm uh, doing some business consulting uh, too, as well. Oh, doing what? What is? What are you doing? What? What are you consulting? So uh, businesses would come in, they would ask for help, and I'm in a group of people called the Table of Captains, and we will, um, you know, get paid by the hour and and solve uh, business problems. All righty. Uh, wait, fuck! I'm trying to get this thing's like. Okay, one second. I just need to get. Our dear old friend Chrissy on, but the computer's being such a bitch right now. Oh, fuck me. Okay. One second, guys. Bear with me. Boomer. At least I'm not a doomer. Okay. But um, that didn't make any sense. That's what your mom said. <laughs> that was an accident. You're right. All right, uh, so Mayu, would you go on a date with Dawson? My dog is eagerly awaiting the answer. Um, no, <clears throat> I don't want to be mean, but no, I wouldn't. I just felt like it was too forced. Like we were just forcing everything. Like if we were talking in a bar, I feel like we would have ended up going different ways <laughs> for the night. <laughs> what What do you think he could have done better? Um. Maybe try to dig deeper into one subject. I don't know. Like, keep it going instead of, like, hopping and stopping and laughing. And I mean, no, the laugh was good. But I don't know. It was. Just, it just felt like there was no flow. <laughs> there was 
it was just like I was trying to respond and it was just awkward. Yeah, so here's my assessment. I think it actually started off pretty good, but then you kind of ran out of things to say near the end and also felt like you were looking for her to lead at times. You did sort of rebound from that, but it felt like at th there's points in the conversation where you're like kind of hoping she would lead. And that's not a really strategy I would rely on, especially in the first meeting. So the one, the one, the one, I guess, part of this thing where I think you lost a lot of points when you were talking about girls challenge guys when they're hitting on them, like logically breaking down attraction is never actually attractive. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like, it's like, okay, a girl, like you're trying to explain a girl while you like her. You're like, well, actually your breast, breast to ass to your fucking nose ratio is on point and 0.6 set. Like it's just attraction is not logical. It's emotional. So yeah, I felt like that, that part kind of got weird. Um, also like, for example, there's like some shit test she threw your way, which I don't think you passed well. Like when she said, Oh, well, I don't want to, what do they call it? Fucking, uh, what do you call them? Hamster? What the fuck do you have? Uh, pig? Guinea pig. Guinea pig. Yeah. So she's like, Your guinea pig stinks. I'd be like, nah, I beat mine in bath of cologne. So it's all good. Like, I don't know. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh, I'm going to put it in the basement. I understand your whole thing was a joke. I just think there's better mm -hmm. ways to pass that shit to us. But yeah, I'll leave the rest of the notes to the girls. So Gracie Boo, what do you got to say? Um, I had a question for you. So you kept saying like kind of cringy pickup line kind of stuff. And then you would laugh at yourself. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? Like... I agree with you. They're cringy. But why did you like? Why did you did you want them to hit, or were you just like, I'll say it ironically? Um, sometimes, like I have different emotions come up, such as excitement, and so I kind of um, I just got excited. I guess like it, I I find this a very fun thing. I like getting to know people, and sometimes uh, I'll just kind of. <laughs> I, I just start laughing. Oh, I was just laugh. nervous. Nervous. A little. There's a little bit of nervous, to be honest. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, you don't really have a lot of charisma. I don't know what to say. Like, you don't have a lot of sexual charisma. You seem like a very nice guy, but you don't. You're not sexy at all. I don't know what to say. I'm working on it. Well, you can't really work on it, though. <laughs> that's the oh, thing. That's, that's a pure cap. You can absolutely work on it. If you saw videos of me in 2010, you would think I'm the least charismatic most cringe person ever you can absolutely work on your on your confidence on your charisma and all of that yeah we've seen case and cases of that on the speed date like when greg first started coming on he was getting rejected left and right now he gets hmm, like only rejected like 20 30 percent of the time so yeah you can absolutely uh improve your shit. okay uh thank you <laughs> you just wouldn't know anything about that because you have <laughs> chrissy what's your feedback my feedback is i feel like the girl was leading the conversation in here like no. that is a major turnoff. I don't think any girl in this world will say that they want to be the leader in the conversation. But I think that, you know, the roots are in the confidence. And you just said you're nervous and stuff. Um, but once you build that up, um, yeah, you just I just feel like girls want to talk to a guy who leads the conversation. So it's not like forced, like she said, or like she has to come up with things to say. You should be the one coming up with the things to say. Which I felt like you kind of did, and then it like stopped, like you stopped it. Yeah. Like, yeah. So like, I felt like there was, I was like, oh, conversation. And then it ended, <laughs> but I don't know what everyone else thinks. Yeah, for the first half, it was like, okay, it was, it was going well. And then I just, um, <laughs> I just let my emotions get the best of me, I guess. Uh, Alex, do you think I might have improved since my first one with Seppi and then the other one last month? I, I have to, if you remember. I, yeah, I just don't recall. Uh, okay. I'd, have to, I'd have to watch it back. Um, yeah, I just don't recall. But I thought you were doing pretty good in the first half. Mm -hmm. I was like trying to write notes and it was like all empty. All my notes started coming in the second half of the interaction. So I thought the two, <clears throat> two first two minutes went well. It just, if you, I think if you continued, on that like kind of positive momentum, then I think you might've had a totally different outcome. It was just like, yeah, I do agree with what Kirstie said. That was my feedback as well. Is that I think like in the beginning you were kind of leading, but then like two, three minutes in, it felt like you were waiting for her to lead. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I just kind of wanted can to, I, to take just, turns yeah. too. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. I just wanted to say really quick, when you say you let your emotions get the better of you, that was actually when you were like cute, when you were genuine, the rest of it, a little bit seemed like a put on, but when you were like, laughing at kind of the ridiculousness of the situation that was really cute and also i want to say there's people in the chat who are saying oh black peel w this guy is a perfectly good looking guy good hair good face i would maybe 
like not dress like a 15 year old boy, but whatever. It's not a big deal. Um, so like you don't have anything to worry about on the look side. I would go mm-hmm. with the emotions. Don't try to like not do them. Yeah, okay. I'm, yeah. Well, I've been under the weather last few days, but no, other than that, other than no excuses. Um, I'm just gonna just keep doing what I'm doing. Keep yeah. Moving. The only issue is you don't have a good hairline like I do, but other than that, you know, there's, there's <laughs> lots of fats and shit. Food for thought. I'm just getting mad. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I'll keep this one in mind. Next time you come on, I will able to answer your question. Okay. Hey, thanks guys. Really appreciate it. And also have a really happy Easter. You as well, man. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it. Thanks. Bye bye. All right. We got the backstage is already almost full or actually complete full. All right. We got a bunch of people. <coughs> and we have a guy who wants to do all the girls. <laughs> what? My dog is literally fucking that toy back there. So I'm very sorry. But he's, your, you know. Your, your dog is fucking? Yeah, he's fucking that toy in the back. Oh, okay. So. Well, we, we don't want a cock block, but yeah. All right, Greg. What's up? You want to like turn the lights on? Maybe you're like super hardcore. Do I have yeah. to? Right, you don't have to. You just kind of got like the villain mode thing going. I am. I'm gonna stay in my villain era. Okay. Uh, all right. So you said you want to go on a date with Chrissy? Yep. All right. Let's see how this goes. I'm gonna take myself. Let's do it. Hey, what's up? So you're from Finland, yeah? Oh yeah, I'm from Finland. Like, whereabouts in Finland are you from? Are you telling me that you know about Finland? Yeah. Who so if I know say I'm Finland? from like Helsinki or Lofty, you know where that is? Ca- Helsinki is the capital, right? Yeah, good job. But I'm not from there. I'm from Lofty. Oh, Lofty. Okay, okay. I know um, there's like Suomi. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. That's just Finland in Finnish. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's what it was. Okay. I thought that was a city yeah. in Finland. Well, say, I mean, I travel, but I've not been to Finland. Okay. So where where is Finland in the map then? Like, can you describe if it's you know? In, it's in the map? back of my uh, house. I have like this atlas. And then I just like spin it, and then it lands on Finland. It lands on Finland. Okay. Yeah, you don't have like an atlas at home that you could just look at. Shows you all the lovely countries. Honestly, no, I don't have that. You have like a pretty nice tree though in the background. I kind of like it. A tree? Where yeah. do you see a tree? You mean those? Wait, those? That looks like a tree. Is that not a tree? They're pampas grass. You should know better. Oh. Silly me for not knowing the pombas grass. I'll, yep. I'll, try, I'll try to do better next time. Get educated on all the different types of grasses. Yeah, in the cities of Finland, if you're talking to a Finnish girl. Oh, well, it's interesting. So, like, do you travel anywhere else in Europe? I've traveled, like, every single country in Europe, pretty much. Have you been to Russia, though? Yes, I have. Really? Oh. That's what people think I'm from, usually. You don't look Russian at all. That's what Alex said. But people don't know. Yeah, well, it's like, because usually Russian is like, you know, you got the blonde, the blue eyes, all that stuff. You know, I'm like, naturally blonde, right? And I have. You are? Yes, and I have bright green eyes. So I'm just faking it. Interesting. So maybe you are secretly Russian with like a dash of Finnish. Who knows? Who knows? No, I'm German, French, and Finnish. That's my I can see the German and I can see the Finnish. So Maybe a it? little bit of French. Hmm? How do you see it? Explain. I, I see everything. I have a special talent. I can like analyze and bam. Okay. I know you're so captivated. You thought about it. You're like, whoa, that's crazy. So take a guess where you think I'm from. You? The U.S.? Yeah. Yes, but like, what's my ethnicity though? Like your ethnicity? Yes, my ethnicity. Can you give me any like a hint here? Like that's. I feel like if I give it a hint, it's gonna give it away. I'm trying to think like, fucking. All right, I got you. Potato salad. Yeah, no idea. If I say like fucking vodka and fucking like. Bread, you're gonna get it. Vodka, I would say Finland or Russia. Close, very close. Well, think about it. Where do people drink vodka like water? Russia, Finland. There you go. You got it. You're from Russia? Yeah, but I, I was born here. My family came from Russia. And why do you want to go on a date with a Finnish girl, though? Because fin- Finnish and Russian people kind of hate each other. 
Why, why do you say that? We, we're like best friends. No. I your take you to get some borscht. My country. Hmm? Your country tried to take my country. Oh, that's not my country. I, I gave that up a long time ago. I'm an American boy, little city boy in, uh, you know, Philly. Wait, do you come to the U.S. at all, though? I live in the U.S. I've lived in the U.S. for many, many years. Like, whereabouts in America do you live? Miami. Like city, I mean. Yeah? So, we're going to Rosa Sky. Why Rosa yeah. Sky? You know about Rosa Sky? Yes, I know about Rosa Sky. The fanciest place of all time. Uh, for me, that's kind of overrated. I feel really? Like that's not, no, that's not my place. What is your go-to spot in Miami? Well, I'd rather go to Swan than Rosa Sky. Interesting. So wh what's Swan? Like, what, what do we got there? Swan? you never been to Swan? Well, I'll be honest. I haven't been to Miami since I was like 13, but... So why do you gotta want to go to Rosa Sky if you haven't even been there? My friend told me it was the best spot. He said uh, he went to celebrate after his buddy closed on a house. He said it was a like, very fantastic. Good views, good drinks, overpriced, but everything was, you know... <laughs> No, it's overrated. That's what people say, but don't you, you know, you shouldn't listen to what people say. It's not a nice So place. you mean to tell me you don't want to pay $30 for a cranberry vodka? Shut up, Greg. It's not working. Abort mission. Whoa, whoa, whoa Grace. Abort we know about your last mission. We know about you are your last so abortion. annoying. I hate stop. you. Stop, stop, stop. Greg, take really, your meds. Mother, stop. I, I realize why no one could hear me is because I didn't have myself. Okay. Uh, Chrissy, would you go on a date with uh, Greg? Um, probably not. Okay. What do you think you could have done better? Me? Yeah, yeah. You're the girl that was on the date. Everything. Um, well, I think I did fantastically, honestly. No, not you. What could yeah, okay. you have done better? I asked <laughs> me, and you said, yeah. Like me as like you were the one answering. You were the one answering the question. You're the one that's answering the question. Yeah. I, what do you think he could have done better on the? Uh... Well, know about the country I'm from. If you're trying to talk to me and and open the conversation with it, because I can't stand dumb people. And if you tell me you think Suomi is a city in Finland, even though it's Finland literally in Finnish, like no, that throw, throws me off a little bit. Ah, that so that was a little uh, trick question you threw his way. Yeah, I feel like you were very baldy, but in like not in a good way. Like you should have known your shit if you're trying to be baldy. What? So give give maybe some more specific examples besides the Swanee thing. Well, that and and the Rosa Sky thing too is like let's go to Rosa Sky, and he does not even know what the fuck Rosa Sky is. I heard it's a good place. No. If you want to take a girl there, why are you going there just because you heard it's a good place? He's trying to like make an inside joke with the chat, but yeah, obviously Chrissy has no idea that, about the Rosa Sky joke, so it's not going to land. Uh, anything else? Well, I think we had like a good, you know, the conversation was rolling. There was no awkward, you know, situations. And I'm not the easiest girl to have a conversation with because my personality is very strong and I don't you know, handle no bullshit. So I feel like you did good in terms of that. And you're a funny guy, not going to lie. But yeah, probably still wouldn't go on a date with you. Mm. So but it came down. But I'm, I'm curious more of an example, like what besides the um, Rose of Sky thing, was there any <laughs> other example of how he was bold in the wrong way? Because that's actually a good point. I want to see like exactly what are some more examples of that? Well, I don't know, like the whole conversation kind of when it started with like my country and then, you know, like, honestly, I don't even remember half of the shit that we talked about because it wasn't like, it wasn't anything that, you know, <clears throat> was playing in my head more longer than that, especially like, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I mean. I th there's there's actually there's some similarities between your conversation I guess when I met Chrissy 
Uh, I do feel like my responses were better, uh, but obviously I'm biased on that. Um, yeah, I feel like you got like stuck at the geography thing a little too long. Um, I would just be like, of course I fucking know Finland. What am I fucking retarded American anyway? And then just like transition it from there. I guess the one, the one thing that when I met Chrissy is like, I've actually been to Finland, so I can talk about Finland all day, but, um, Damn. yeah, assuming you've never been there, I would just probably like move on and like switch gears a little bit. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I don't really have anything to add. It felt like a lot of things just weren't like the things weren't like, <laughs> as weren't like, yeah. like just like it was just like like planes were flying past each other. Uh, Grace, you a uh, lot well, without like going on a massive like spur tangent about how great <laughs> Greg is evil and whatever something. He loves me. What do you actually think he could have done better? Uh, you know, I think Greg is annoying, but that being said, I do think he is. Uh, I don't know, unapologetically himself. So I think you get what you get with Greg. I don't know if he could really improve it much. I think he's a nice guy. Uh, I would actually ask Chrissy, like, why were you like, are you like that with everybody? Or are you playing it up for the show? Because I felt like the kind of, I don't know, no, the thing about Finland, like most Americans don't really know much about Finland. Like, why were you so aggressive with that one? I don't really get it. She actually toned it down, I think. She was way more aggressive with me. Yeah, because I hate when you tell a person from here that you're from Finland or from some other country that's a small country and people don't know about. Like, I already know that you don't know shit about Finland, but they try to make it sound like they do. And I, I see it through. Like, why don't you just say, oh, I'm, I, I, like, I have no idea where that is. Right. How, is. how is it there? Like, people ask me, like, oh, you have polar bears in your, in your, as your animals, like, as your pets and stuff. Like, don't make yourself dumb. If you don't know, just admit that you don't know. And I'm here to tell you because that's my country. Okay. I guess I can see that. Yeah. The country that you also sort of hate, right? I don't hate the country. I hate the people. The people. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Mayu, you, you have any, uh, any thoughts? Um, maybe if you, like she said, if you don't know something, maybe go on something more basic, uh, like something that you do know that you can, like, obviously she's giving you a hard time. She's being standoffish. So like do something like basic that, you know, is going to be, but I don't know something that's been funny in the past is the most strangest, uh, stranger you've never met and maybe try to get a giggle out of her just to cut the, like fierceness off from her i don't know <laughs> that's what i like to do. just like ask something about my country like if you actually want to talk about oh yeah like, there just ask something like anything like how is it there how does it compare to to miami or the u.s like that's how you get more from me but if you play like you know shit that you don't clearly like no okay yeah finland is in africa and um the soon in dima that i know uh all right cool well, anyway always a pleasure greg thanks for coming on all right yeah take care man all right uh let's see all right everyone everyone there's about i see eight nine people backstage i want every single one of you guys to tell me who you're going on date with so far only two people answer that question and so i can uh run the show i need to know everyone's picks if you're picking multiple girls you will get to skip the line anyway so um i guess the one person did answer well there's two people that have answered tarif I think it'll be for uh, it'll be funny if we go have you go on next. So can you give me two fingers so I know you're a real person? All right, there we go. Let's Tarif. All right, let's bring him on. Right. It's your favorite Canadian cowboy here. Okay. Uh, so who do you say you're gonna go on a uh, date with? You said Grace, right? Yeah, Grace. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Hello, hey, Grace. How are you? Doing okay? How are you doing? I'm doing fine. I'm doing great, actually. Uh, it's nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. Yeah. Yeah, you look you look great today. You look pretty sexy in that dress. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So, so if your daddy goes, if your dad goes to jail, can I call you? Can you call me daddy? <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, what makes you a daddy? Well, I'm smart and handsome. I'm tall. I'm, I'm ambitious. I'm, I'm caring. I'm compassionate. I'm well, well, you know, you know what I mean. 
What made you choose the name Emperor of Masculinity? Oh, I, I had that name for, for my Facebook for like four years. I, I, I Maybe it's just like, uh, it's just a name, yeah. Like, I, I, I like to promote masculinity, masculine values, and I, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan and supporter of the Manosphere, so that's why I chose this name. Mm. How would you promote your masculinity with me? Uh, that's a good question. Um, mm -hmm. Be very sexually dominant and assertive. Mm hmm Like how? Tell me. Yeah, I'd I'd rip off your all your clothes and throw you on, on, on your bed, yeah. Mm-hmm. What if I push back? What are you gonna do? I'll tell you to I'll I'll tell you to um suck on my cobra. Really? Yeah. Is it that big? It's like a cobra? Yeah, it's a cobra. My winner's a cobra. Really? Yeah, bitch. No, what if you <laughs> would you would you throw it around my neck and start me up like a lawnmower? Yeah, yeah, I would totally yeah. do that. I'll yeah. spank you until you until you scream scream mommy. Why would I scream mommy? Wouldn't I scream oh, daddy? I don't know. Like like like. It, do you want me uh, to call you mommy? You have a sort of motherly daddy, figure. Daddy, daddy, yeah. What well, what about mommy though? I don't mind. Mm, you could be maybe. my mommy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, you look extra fine tonight, so I'm just in the mood to, you know, be extra aggressive, you know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can also do some Canadian cowboy role playing. Okay, let's uh, do that. Yeah. Save a horse, ride a cowboy, right? Yeah. Canadian cowboy, yeah. Now, Tarif, we've talked about this before, but it's going to be hard for me to take your domination seriously when you're talking right. to me in that tone of voice. Well, it's right, very... Right. I should talk like this. Yeah. yeah, let's get into a little bit more of that. Oh, yeah. fuck you, bitch. Go All ahead. All right. All right, bitch. Get on the bed. No, it's got to have a little more... <clears throat> get on the yeah. bed. Okay, keep going. Fuck you, bitch. I'm gonna fuck the shit out of you, you fucking I'm slut. Fuck Go ahead. Shit out of you. I'm gonna take your all your clothes off and I'm gonna rail you until you're until you're sc screaming for screaming out out of pleasure. Like like Yes. Mmm. Now put do some cowboy stuff. Jenny Ho! Yeah. Mmm. You want me to you want me to act like a horse? Yeah, yeah. I'll ride you like oh. a horse. Yeah, you gonna you gonna kick me with your spurs? You gonna put some reins on me? Yeah, kick, 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 kick. I like it. I like it. I'm a bad horse. I'm gonna kick you. Yeah, maybe spank you in the behind. Mm-hmm. I like it, cowboy. I'm down. Yeehaw! Yeehaw! Can you give me a yodel? Yodel a hee hoo! <laughs> nice. Damn. Would you would you do aftercare so, too? Aftercare? What's that? So like after we have hot, passionate sex, it's like you're gonna right. take care of me because you just made me your woman. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, woman, I mean. <laughs> now, I do want to tell you, I have handcuffs and a strap on, and I've always wanted to use them, but I never took them out of the box. Would you let me use them on you? I'm a dominant guy. But what if I wanted to play dominant for a little while? Would you let me bend you over and fuck you up the ass? Uh... Please. <laughs> what if I just wanted to try it? I don't know, Matt. I don't know. It, it, it sounds... But I, I definitely... I, I I definitely um rail you for for sure, yeah. What if I flipped it around and I handcuffed you to the bed and I made you my bitch? Would you like that a little bit? I think mm, a real man would let a girl a do that a to him. Type. A real man a real man would let a girl do that to him because he's not insecure. Are you insecure? 
Um, I'm not insecure, but I I definitely don't like being dominated by women. Why not? I like dominating women. Do you? Yeah. Do you think you're dominating me right now? I like holding them up like a pretzel and railing them, yeah. Do you think you're dominating me right now? Yeah, for sure. I don't think so. Well, I'm trying my best. (laughs) But you don't try to dominate somebody. You just do it. Right, right. And and Grace, on a scale of 1 to 10, Mm -hmm. how sexual are you? 11. 11, damn. Yeah. What about you? Um, 8, 9... Okay. Uh, I'm not going to be egotistical about it, but uh, I'm going to be fair to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was highly, highly entertaining. I let this go longer than usual because it. My, my thing with the speed. Yeah, I noticed. I noticed that, Alex. I noticed you let it go longer than usual. Well,. The thing for me is that, like, I've seen all these speed dates. Most of them are extremely repetitive. This was highly, highly entertaining. So, yeah, at the very least, you put a smile on my face. Oh, and Chrissy got her tits out. Look at that. You did two positive things. Uh, all right, Grace. So, uh, would you go on a date with the Emperor of Masculinity? No. Okay. Right. What, do you, what do you think he could have done better? I mean, I appreciate that he played along, but, like, <clears throat> I, I, don't, I, don't know where, I don't know where to start. It's like. He doesn't really have social skills. He talks like yeah. a little girl. I don't know. It's got yeah. he's got some kind of a problem. He seems like a very nice guy. It's just like zero sexual charisma. Right. Again. But like a nice guy. I don't have any problem. I like that he played along, but like no domination at all. No sexual right. anything. Tarif, saying that you're dominant is not the same thing as being dominant. Right, right, right. There's a difference between saying you're a multimillionaire and that you're a multimillionaire. There's a difference between saying you're really smart and actually being super smart. You're you're playing a character that you're just not. You're not this like old dom guy. You're just you're just a nice Canadian dude. You can you can lean into being more dominant, which is what I think I have told you in the past. But you this is during our debate. You're talking about like ultra vulgar and you know like shit works. It doesn't work. Not when someone congruent to you Uh, and. Like, I'm not saying you would have gotten a yes. You probably still would have gotten a no. But it would have been better if you were at least a bit more authentic to who you actually are. Like, again, yeah. just it's so it's so obvious that you're trying to play a character and just so incongruent with your personality. Right. Again, you, you can you can lean into it a little bit, but this is not leaning. This is you, like, literally cosplaying as someone else. So that's my advice. Uh, Chrissy, what you got? Yeah, I don't know how Grace did that. Like... That was horrible, not gonna lie. I mean, it made me take my shirt off, but like, it was just, you were trying to be something you're not. Like clearly, oh. just like I said with the, the guy that was dating me, like trying to say and talk about things that they don't know, like don't try to be this like masculine leader, or whatever you were trying to be, cause you're not. And everyone sees that through. Yeah. My your thoughts? Um, I mean, I don't really know what the point of view wanting to do anything. Come on. I feel like it was just like you wanted to do a show. That's it. <laughs> I don't know if you're trying to get better at that kind of talk or what. I don't know. What, what, what was your purpose? Just to talk to Grace? Uh, what is your purpose? I, I wanted to try out a different style, I guess. Of speed dating. Like, do you want to date people or you just want to, like, find someone to, like, what is that? Uh, there's, like, used to be a thing where you can randomly go on a random website and talk to random people. Um, I wanted to. Omegle. 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 Whatever it's called. Omeg. Yeah, I know. What oh, I don't use Omegle, but uh, I just wanted to try, how, try out how to do, all right? I know, but what do you want? Like, what's your purpose? Oh, okay. Like, some someday get there on more dates, I guess. But, like, do you really? Or that's that's the way you would go on a date? Or you just wanted to play around? Both. <laughs> 
I mean, then there's no advice to give you. So. Yeah. Is that cowboy thing like your fantasy or something? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. I just I'm sorry if I make you try it for fun. Yeah. All right. Well, that was fun. Thanks for coming on, Tarif. Thank Thank you. Take it easy, buddy. Until we meet again. Yes. Always a pleasure. All right. That was uh, quite funny. Believe it or not, this guy actually debated me. We de I debated him, like, what was it, two days ago? Uh, <laughs> so fucking, if you guys want a massive vlog, go to Ashley's channel and check that out. Uh, I feel bad because he, he does seem like a really nice dude, but I don't know, like, why he does some of the shit he does. Like, he's the least dominant person on the history of the planet. <laughs> yeah. Okay? Like, fucking trans woman whatever with fucking estrogen are probably like more dominant so i don't know like why he keeps what why he's trying to play into that all right anyway let's bring on the next person oh grace yeah uh you said there's some dude begging in the chat honestly people who are begging to come on the speed day are probably gonna either show their dick or they're weird as fuck but i'll try to make room for him well uh, i was just i was just trying to say to alex that i want to make room for the new people because a lot of like regulars usually come on but whatever it's it's up to him I'll try to make it work. Uh, it's just that a lot of also people have been waiting. I, I feel bad if I already told them they could go. All right, let's get – we'll do maybe uh, – that one I'll let go longer than usual, but maybe I'll cap it more to like three four minutes unless Tak Takayuki, you have to tell me who you're picking. You haven't told me, I believe. All right, let's get Ben on real quick. Hello. What's, What's going up? on, Alex? What's up? Um, How's it been going? Good. So who are you picking? Mayu. That's what I picked in the chat. Okay, cool. I'm going to take everyone else. Uh, uh, this one's going to be like three or four minutes unless you're doing a really good job. Oh, okay, okay, well, all right. What's going on, Mai? How's everything going? Good, how are you? Oh, pretty good myself. Um, I have a question to ask you. So what do you okay. usually do for, for a living and what's your like little daily activity? Like whether it's inside or outside? Uh, outside. Uh, I'm a property manager. So I manage residents, buildings, maintenance, fun stuff, money, nice. money, lots of financials. And I... On my dailies, I am just with bigger, trying to figure out a way to be with someone else. Like I'm just an extrovert. So it's either going to the gym with someone or just going out with friends or something. So, oh, okay. Nice. Daily, daily so dope. you're, you're like pretty much the manager. You're like the owner, right? No, I'm not the owner, but I, I manage the owner's money. So, oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I wish I was the owner. Then I prob't would be in this apartment. <laughs> Gosh, you didn't mean to start. Okay, honestly, Mayu, uh, I technically don't work, but I'm currently at school right now. And the good news is I got my first uh, associate degree good. right now. Yeah, and I'm, I'll be tackling the next one uh, this coming May. Okay. So I'll be getting my next uh, associate degree and then plus my certificate as well. And what? Uh, are you asking what major I'm going for? You're curious. Mm -hmm. um, my major is. Are you interviewing? Uh, Did you want me to hire you or something? That's why you're letting me know about your when you're graduating. <laughs> uh no, no, I'm not ready for that. But yeah, I'm, I'm majoring architectural, so I got my construction management. I have, and I'm getting the constructural Mary computer, what, what the, whatever that is. But yeah, I'll be getting that, and after that, I'll be doing uh, two years in uh, university. So I already applied for which either. university. Uh, v Tech or UVA. I used to work near V Tech, Virginia Tech. Yeah, Virginia Tech. Those are two I, I applied. So hopefully this coming April I get accepted. Good. Congrats. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> I can get my bachelor's degree, yeah. and then after I get my bachelor's degree, I'll be working for real. Hold I get make make a make a good money. So you say you're. Money do you want? Huh? How I much? Was like, how much? What's your goal? Uh. Get my AAS and then I'll do two years and I'll get my bachelor's and uh, I have to take a board exam before that happens, like to get my major and then yeah I'll start working. Good, mm -hmm. good for you. How old are you? Oh, I'll be t I'm 21. I'll be 22 in June. Nice. Yeah. Good yeah, I appreciate it. I appreciate telling you your, your like little background and yeah, yeah. So yeah, well, what are you going to be doing uh, this coming Saturday or Saturday? You got any plans? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure out how to be productive. So, um, I have, I don't know, maybe figure out, keep practicing how to do my own nails, um, nails. watch a new show, um, okay. go on a walk, hit my steps, Got go you. to the gym, Got uh, you. Yeah. Mm. do something to not sit on the couch like I did last, last weekend. 
<laughs> Are you planning to get your nails sharp? No, I like keep it pretty, pretty tame. <laughs> oh, okay. I got you. I feel you. Well, for me, it's not going to be, it's just going to be the same shit as usual. I'm just going to be hitting the gym, uh, do, uh, getting uh, my arms. Uh, I'm going to work, do some arm, chest, and then some back workout over the weekend. And then after that, I'm just going to be watching some cartoon anime. That's pretty much it. That's what you usually do. Yeah. That's it? Yep, nothing that's, else? Right, nothing else. That's it. Hmm? You're 21. You're not going to do anything fun? Nope. That's that's what I usually do. That's the fun stuff I usually do. Good. Yeah. So w w where are you usually from, actually? Where am I from? Like my family or where? No, no. Like where, where do you currently like live? What state are you currently Oh, live? I'm in Miami. Miami. That's a good place. Oh, what, what are some fun places you like to explore? In Miami? Um, yeah. Anything yeah. new. So there's a couple new spots. I've been wanting to try. I have like them all saved on Instagram, new foods, um, different areas. So maybe something out of Miami. Uh, where's Alex? There we go. Where is he? Uh, all right, I'm back. All right, Mayu, would you go on a date with Benjamin? Uh, no, uh. Just because he reminded me too much of my brother. But the conversation was good. It was good. <laughs> but he reminded you me of like my little brother. Like it was really weird. <laughs> Hey, don't diss the guy like that. What do you think you could have done better? Um, I feel like the beginning felt like he it was like a job. Like I thought it felt like he was applying to work for me. Like yeah. he was like describing randomly his degrees, which was I know it was a conversation starter, but it felt like he was like telling me his credentials at first. So that's why I was like, are you am I are you wanting me to hire you? <laughs> so yeah, yeah. yeah. maybe yeah. something more common based so we could have like more conversation. I don't know why guys always go to these extremes. They're the exact opposite of Tarif. Like, so he went like way too fucking over the top, like just like cringe, weird sexual. But you like again, you it was like super platonic. It was like it did feel like a lot like a job interview. There was no like forget sexuality. There was no flirting. There was no teasing. It wasn't even playful. It was just a purely logical conversation. I was about to go for that, but I ran out of time. But you, sh you should be flirting with a girl within the first minute. I mean, like, for example, she gave you, like, a little shit that she's like, am I hiring you? That's a massive layup. I'd be like, no, this is actually your interview. And, bam, you can do a whole role play that you're interviewing her. So, Mayu, tell me, what makes you want to be part of our team here? Like, you can just fucking fuck around like that. And, like, that's easy, yeah. like, role play setup. But the point is that, like, yeah, like, you can't wait, like, three, four minutes in. Because in real life, you won't get four minutes. You approach a girl at a bar, and if you're boring – or it's like super platonic, she's going to tell you fuck off in like 30 seconds to a minute unless you get really lucky. So, uh, yeah, so like guys always go to these two extremes. One thing I will give you credit for is you stop self-deprecating yourself, but it's you're still super logical platonic. There's no flirting or teasing or anything like that. And so, I, I so like you, when I go to another speed date, I have to go – like I have to get the flirting out of the way first, right? Do that right away first. Well, you, it, well get it out of the way is the wrong way of looking at it. That's like, I have to get the sex out of the way. Flirting is a key part of the introduction. It's by far the most important part of the dating, everything that happens before sex. It's not get it out of the way. It's not like, oh, I'm going to flirt with her five minutes and I'm going to go back to like talking about my degrees. Like it's the okay. whole thing should be flirting. You know, you can have some logical conversations, of course, but like if you watch like my speed dates, most of my interactions, it's largely flirting. I'm largely teasing the girl, being playful, fucking around, shit like that. Okay. Well, Alex, honestly, this is my last one. But, yeah, I appreciate uh, you putting me on. But, yeah, okay. this, is, this is my last one, bro. So, sorry about this. Well, you don't have to apologize to me. I mean, it's up to you. What do you want to do? Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. I know I know that, yeah, I got rejected a bunch of times. But, yeah, I did I did improve. Well, did, oh, yeah. well you got – well, you institute – you use part of my advice, which is stopping yeah. self-deprecating, which is good. Yeah. But you have not made any progress on flirting and being more playful. Yeah. Uh, the conversation is so highly logical. Like, just go out and talk to girls in real life, and just just practice not giving a shit and fucking around, and just saying uh, what comes to your mind. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right, man. Take it easy. Appreciate. It. Well, I, I think like, he was so cute. I think he was so cute. <laughs> yeah. Would you fuck him? No. Like yeah. a brother, <laughs> he said. Like a little brother. Like I just want to take your cheeks and like do this. That's what I'm saying. You remind me of my little brother. Like. Yeah, it was so weird. I was like, Whoa, this is like the anime stuff, like the 
the, the speech. Yeah, the cartoons and, and all that. Yeah. <laughs> but he tried, though. He tried to be like, but I'm going to go and hit some chest and some shoulders. Like, you know, he... he yeah, I guess that was the flirt. That was the flirt. He, he seems like such a good dude, and I really do hope that no, he... for real. Like, he, Alex, he remember the last time we talked to him, we asked him if he had any male friends, and he said no. I wonder if he's made any improvements on that. My guess is no. Oh, Oh shit! I forgot to actually ask you guys. Yeah, let's actually bring him on real quick, so you can ask him that. I, I totally. Oh. Skip, skip hey, hey, what? Right. Yeah. So Grace was asking, do you uh, did you have any male friends recently? Oh uh, yeah, I've been talking to them on on Snap. Yeah, it's pretty good. But like real do you talk in real life. Real life? No, but I I talked to them uh, on my Snap. My, my <laughs> old high school friends. You really got to get out. You got to develop male friendships in real life. You're not even close to ready for women. Well, yeah, I don't know about that. You just got to develop friendships in general in real life. Uh, sure, yeah. yeah. Right, but guys. I mean romantic stuff. I'll okay. be your friend and text me. I'll be your friend. What? I'll right. you what, a thing or two. Yeah, I, mean, I guess it depends on the friend. But yeah, like really, like the whole like online friend thing is largely like nonsense, honestly. It's like it, – like, like exactly. real life friends are just so much more valuable than online friends. And this is coming from someone who has a lot of online friends, but I will always, always prioritize my real life friends. I will trust my real life friends way more than I will ever trust my online friends, even my close online friends. Uh, so yeah, uh, real life friends are invaluable. Uh, mm -hmm. I just, I just think you need to like go out more and like as the fucking yeah. track on say touch grass and like interact more with like real life people and get into like whatever activities they're here into. I don't know what you're into. Maybe jujitsu. You're into I, like, like guy friends, right? You're talking about like, outside. Mm. they don't have to be guy yeah, friends. Yeah, we can be yeah. you know, yeah. girls, guy and girlfriends. Yeah. But I remember the last room, the girl, like one girl told me like, if, 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 if you and the other dude that like, don't get along, just move on. The girl told me the, the last stream she told me. Yeah. If you don't get along, sure. But you should be able to make friends with people you get along with. Mm-hmm. But I, I don't like like when I go like hang out with friends like people would probably like lose interest in me because like the way I like react to them. Well, you're not. Why do you think that is? Why do you think that is? Why do they lose interest? Why do? You, how do you react? Yeah. Like just like the way I talk, like when I like communicate with them, and then like they just think it's boring, and then they turn like they just lose interest to me. Do you go to school? Like, do you go to college? Yes, I I go to college. Yes, I do, I do, but it's like. It, at home. Oh, it's online. Yeah, it's online. Yeah, I'm taking online. That's, that's what it seems I like would suggest point. not doing that. I I don't know if he can change at this point if he's already <laughs> taking the online program. But yeah, I mean that seems like kind of like the issue is like you're super socially isolated. Uh, you're not really like even when I was like a virgin, I still had male and female friends. Uh, and I didn't even I didn't even realize that like. There's until I started doing this, I didn't even realize there was people who didn't have like any real life friends. Benjamin, but, do you have any siblings? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I talked to. Yeah, I talk. Yeah, I do. Uh, I have a 15 year old sister, and my my other brothers in college. He's in like UVA wise. That's it's a little different though with uh, family though. I don't know. Yeah, I think real life friends like real life people in real life, not like Snapchat, whatever guy girl doesn't really matter. Uh, find some activity that you're into. Come to um, Miami, Ben. We'll 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 show you around. <laughs> oh yeah that's what i was yeah i mean yeah that's what i was gonna tell you so wait alex so no 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 no. you don't want you don't want sympathy friends i'm not saying there's anything wrong with mayu and chrissy but you don't want sympathy friends you want actual friends they have to respect you as yeah. a person i respect you ben i literally bring friends out here all the time mm -hmm. so they can live their life because i'm from a small tiny little town where they don't live a life and i'm like get yeah. to miami and let's just go mm -hmm. do something random yeah okay yeah I, yeah i feel you I mean, like, yeah, but Mayu, you, 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 you wouldn't talk to him like you talk to a normal person, you know. Yeah. I'm not saying yeah, there's I, anything wrong with it. I'm just. Hundred percent, I would. I literally. You should have said my my friend that just visited me. He would never even leave his our small little town, and I moved out to Miami, and he's mm -hmm. come out here twice, and he's like so awkward, so like, eh, but he still says he has the best time of his life, even though he literally goes into these bars and doesn't talk to anybody, but he meets new people, and I guess it has the time of his life. All right, that's cool. Wait, hey Alex, I have a question. So if I were like make like finding some friends like you know on Twitch, like you know com communicating, then yeah, they're they they're they're my friends. So I have to like find friends outside. So like, what you guys are talking to me right now, right? People in real life in your city, yeah. which friends, Snapchat friends are not real friends. Like real life. Well, people. well, 
It, Benjamin, it's more like you have an interest and that leads you to people who also have that interest. Like, what's your interest? That's how you make friends. You don't just say, like, I want to have friends. Like, mm -hmm. it, it's usually like you take some interest in college or a group or something or you want to do something mm -hmm. and you, you, you meet other people who want to do that. That's how you make friends. All right. I mean, this is not bad advice right here. Join an MMA gym. That would be a good way to meet people if that's something you have an interest in. All right. yeah, I, I appreciate, appreciate it, Alex. Yeah, yeah we got to bring the next person. All right, buddy. Best of luck. Take it easy. All right. Uh, all right. So we got. Okay. Fuck. Let me see who, who I promised next. I promised eighty six next, and then we'll get you on top. Kuyaki. Uh, I promise. Run. Let me know backstage who you're picking, and uh, Nick, I'll try to get you on some point. Okay. Let's bring on eighty six. What's up, buddy? Yo. What's up? You hear me? Yeah, we can hear. Yo. What's up, uh, Brace? Alex. Hi, Toki. What's up, man? How you guys doing? Welcome, Good. welcome. All right, so I like the mustache, very seventies. Look at that. Wait, no, no, no That's time, no time, for, no time for witty banter. Okay, eighty six. You're picking Chrissy, right? Chrissy, yes. All right, let's see how this goes. Yeah, let's go. How you doing, Chrissy? I'm doing fantastic. Straight from the <sighs> stream to the stream. To the stream. How are you liking it so far? It's it is what it is. It's fun. Is what I it is. I before you like that little brother guy. It was pretty cute. It was good. Yeah. I was uh wondering um, cause I like to research the girls that I go on dates with, right? I was looking at your Instagram. You look like you can, you can put a dude in a fucking chokehold. Oh god damn! That kind of turns me on. It, it turns me on too. Only if you can do it. Can you do it? A lady doesn't tell. Why not? Lady I can't tell my secrets to you. We just met, you know? And so what? I didn't even tell Alex once the last time I fucked in the in the video. You think I'm gonna tell you that? A chokehold is just playful. Sex is like, you know. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> well, do you think I could? For, yes, based on your Instagram pics, hell yeah. That's so sexy what, me. what what makes you think I could? Like what is the thing there that you saw? Bodybuilder, you're very dominant, you're very masculine. Not like in future, but like your energy. You're very firm. Very firm, very bold. And that kind of turns me on a little bit. It's kind of gay, but I only trust me, I only like women. But coming from you, I'll get a hard on. Damn, I like that. I'm not going to lie, I like that. And you know what? I might come off as very masculine, very boldy, but... With, Don't waste with, my time, energy. Yeah. But mm. the thing is yeah. that a man needs to put me in my place. I need a man who's a man enough to do uh -huh. that. But not many men is man enough for that. Do you and think... I'm I'm going to be bitchy and I'm going to be bold and I'm going to be masculine. Okay. But do you think if you toned it down a little bit, you could find that guy or no? I've toned it down and I've just met even worse guys. I'm rather alone than with Shit. those guys. Not going to lie. I can see. Get, there's like two dogs right there fucking. Yeah. Exactly. That's what it's <laughs> for, right? Yeah. Um, I would love a dog, but I don't know. It's just too much maintenance for me. They take a shit. They want to run around, eat shit. Nah. But it's like I'm a mom. You know, I can I can let that feminine, soft mother kind of Chrissy and use it on the dogs. Because I don't. Have Wait, so kids. you have kids right now? Huh? You have kids? No, they're my kids. That's what I'm saying. They're your kids? Do you want kids one day? I don't know. Haven't met a guy that have made me think like I would yet, but never say never. I could be the guy. Um, I think I'm a very uh, good balance of masculine and I guess give you comfort or some, some type of nurture. Now the question is, do I have the finance? Cause I seen your Instagram, you travel all the time, nice fucking cards, I mean cards, cars and shit. How much money do I have to have to date a girl like you or just you? For me, Money mm. means nothing. Bullshit. In a <laughs> no, what? In a relationship, I'm telling you, like, 
Okay, well, I'm not trying to be a sugar mommy. So like course, for me, yeah. the most important thing is that you gotta have ambition, you yeah. gotta have hustle, you gotta okay. be dedicated for what you're doing. You have gotta have big dreams because I'm like that. And that's why I'm in a position in my life where I am yeah. at. Because I've been raised that way and I am that way. So being with a man who's like, oh, I'm just going to work at Walmart, you know, the rest of my life. No. Yeah. You know what? Guys who have those dreams and that dedication also make money. They do. For my first date for you, I would take you out to something fun, like a sports event, maybe some little putt-putt. I don't know if you know what that is, a little, little golf or some shit, some rock climbing. Not no, like, traditional shit. That's not a competition, so don't take me mini what do you not? What do you don't take me to mini golfing or there's, bowling. There's no competition. Gonna We're gonna fight real hard unless you let me win. But so I know, else? no, no, I know. If I let you win, you're not gonna like it. Not I already know. It. I already know you're not gonna like it. First of all, if I push you to get better, you're gonna love that shit. I'm telling you. You said yourself earlier. You don't like guys. On, well, not verbatim but you don't like dumb guys so it's like if you don't have nothing to learn from that guy it's like what the fuck am i doing with this guy so i have to drive drive you and push you to you know to be damn this nigga is he's smart makes money he pushes me to be better i mean true mm -hmm. you take me mini golfing and you'll win i'm yep. gonna be bitchy for a while but then i hope you know how to get me out of that oh um, i definitely will i'm doing it right now I just made you realize that you, I'm, t I'm telling you, I just made you realize you like a guy to push you and drive you to be that guy. Yes. Hell yeah. That's what I dream of. But no mm -hmm. guy is able to fucking do that or not a guy that I've met yet. Because is that why I you move? Uh -huh. I'm a what happened? what happened? I said that I push myself, but I would love someone to do that for me, obviously. Okay. I got you, Chrissy. Alrighty, Chrissy, would you go on a date with ED6? Honestly, I would. Okay. I'm not going to lie, I didn't think I would say that, but I would. Okay. Would it be a romantic date or platonic date? Well, I can't. Romantic? Just say it, Chris. Come on, stop. That because he's talking a lot, but I would have to see the vibe in person. Like, is he actually going to put me in my place like he's saying or not? Do you or think he, what, 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 what is the probability you think that he would put you in your place as you say it so eloquently? Um, Dad, say it. Dad, Dad. Like, what do you mean? Like, out of what? Out of 10. Out of 10, maybe six and a half. Okay, six and a half. Interesting. Or more than five, but I still have my doubts because I've met guys like this. And then when I see them in person, they're little doormats and they don't they're not like i thought they would be oh interesting okay is there anything you think you could have done better um look at the camera look me in my eyes <laughs> i'm sorry i have a monitor right here i'm sorry I know, that's like a thing for me like i need to like get the eye contact i love eye contact she but gotta be number eye one eye number eye one attention that's her yeah, I think the chat was good. I think he he handled my strong personality very very well. Um, I think it was it was a good chat. Not gonna lie. Interesting. This was one of the few times where actually I thought the answer was gonna be totally different. Not that not that you're like awkward or anything like that. I think you're pretty charismatic and confident. But there's like some things that, like for example, your assessment of her was like way off. She's a Brad. Brad's should test the fuck out of guys. But if you're dominant alpha enough. They become super feminine and submissive. So that's well, girls do that. But girls do that in general, though. So not just brats. Brats, brats, brats are like more fucking aggressive. But girls do that. Period. N not all girls. There's some girls that barely shit test. Uh, but the, with the difference is that some girls, while they may shit test, they're not going to come off as super like like uh, assertive and super standoffish. That would be like a non-brat girl versus a brat girl is going to come off like she is like overly overly I guess uh, assertive and dominant. Uh, but after a while, when she sees that you're not a weak little bitch, and that's why her exact word was put her in her place. That's brat 101. Also, I don't like the general position and make yourself seem like you're the feminine one in your dynamic. 
there's really no reason you should have to say I'm not gay like two minutes into the convo. And the part that I think I dislike the most was when you were talking about do I have the finances? It the fr it seems like you're putting her on a pedestal and trying to qualify yourself. Like I wouldn't, I just could never imagine saying like, oh, do I have the finances enough to meet your lifestyle? It's again, it's like you're qualifying yourself. Uh, that's a horrible framing to be in. Uh, it's just not even a question I would ever ask, uh, period. Even if I was like super poor, which I'm assuming you're not even. But um, yeah, so those are those some like technical things I observe. But I guess what the girl says is more important than me because you're trying to fuck her, not me. So yeah, those are kind of my observations. Uh, Grace, you have anything, any thoughts? Um, <clears throat> I think Toki has good game. I, I think he's like a funny guy. He's, uh, uh, what do you call that when you self-deprecating he's like not insecure I think he's a funny guy i think i find chrissy a little annoying to be honest but that's just me so that's that's i'm not supposed to critique the women so that's it for me cool what about you maya um i yeah i think he did fine he impressed her obviously the so i don't think anything more he could have done Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, I guess the ladies disagree with me. I guess on this one, but yeah, cool, man. Thanks for coming up. Good job. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, Chrissy. I love you. Take it easy, buddy. Uh, okay, let's see. So many people backstage. Who do I want to get on next? Oh yeah, I promised to coyote me. All right, let's see. And then Chris, I will get you on since you said you can do multiple girls. Okay, so Takayumi, give me two fingers so I know you're a real person. Okay. That's four fingers technically, but you're still good. All right, I'm gonna bring you on. Here you go. Yeah, yeah, I know exactly who I want to talk to. I want to talk to Mayo and I want to talk to Grace. Okay, uh, <laughs> Mayo. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna take me and Chrissy off then. Let's see how. I'm All not right, Mayo. Grace. All right, Grace, you gonna talk to uh, you talking to other men now? You gonna talk to an <laughs> Indian that has a Toy Story hat? You a horse now? You think you you think you you gonna get over me, bitch? You ain't gonna get over me. I'm a real, I'm a real ass nigga, Grace. You know what's up. <laughs> you gonna talk to me, acting like you, you, you are, you more bougie than me. You ain't bougie than me, bitch. I'm, I'm your nigga. You don't, you don't, you don't go are on you? the street. You don't go on the street. No, no, shut up, shut, 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 shut up, shut up. You don't go on other streams talking to Indians behind my back. You understand me? I, all I want to hear from your mouth is yes, daddy. That's all I want to hear. You really think you're going to get a, get a yes, daddy, with that tone of voice? Hey, 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 hey. First off, you know your position. We talked about this. I got the paperwork. Why are you whining? My, Why are you I'm crying? Verified I'm verifying my Why are you data. crying? I ain't crying. I ain't crying. You, you think I'm crying? I ain't crying, nigga. I ain't crying. You, you sound you like you're about to cry. Things. You Shut sound up, like you're on the verge of tears. Like, man, man, first off, your, man, voice like your voice is cracking. Your voice is cracking. You look like a sloth, Mayo. I don't want to okay, talk. Okay, I am a sloth. With your cheese stick looking self. Look like a cheese stick. I'm not a wig. cheese stick looking. No, cheese stick looking like a with a wig. Cheese aren't even what straight. Like. What are you saying? Talking, you ain't my girl. You ain't my bitch. I'm Grace, talking to I'm talking you because you're calling Grace, me Mayo. Grace, first off, Grace. First off, Grace. What you need to understand is I'm your nigga. You, can't even you going see on it. other speed dates and shit all of a sudden? You wasn't saying that when we were Netflix and chill last night. We were Netflix and chill last night. Yeah, everybody in chat. Yeah. I was talking to Grace. I was talking to Grace. She was talking to me about her dad and stuff. So I, I don't want to hear it. Well, especially that girl looking like sloth, all pasty, white and stuff. What no, are you talking you about? You live in Georgia. I've never met yeah, you. What you are you talking about? Here, you're going to pay for your own ticket and you're going to come down here. You gonna pay for your own ticket because I'm a real ass nigga. You think I'm gonna pay for you? I paying for you. You're just a number. That's all you is to me is a number. So what you go? Oh, I'm just a number to you. You a number? Oh, Wait, why are you? you my you voice, my my no my voice is my hey, 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 boy. Listen up. My voice is deeper than yours. You, I'm, I'm, call, I'm not calling you daddy. I'm not calling a man whose voice is like higher than mine, daddy. The fuck? What the fuck well, you mean? First, first off, yeah, first off, first off, mommy, I'll, I'll be I'll, I'll be making you hit them right. Carry notes in the bedroom, so I don't know what you're talking about. And second, will you sounds like you'll be the one doing that when I bend you over? Uh, no, yeah, 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 bullshit, Grace, bullshit, bullshit. Bullshit. First off, you my hoe. You know what you, talk like you talk like a mama's boy. You talk like a mama's boy. Hey, 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 hey. You hey, go go in his car because he can't even have a house. You talk like, like you complain to your mommy when people don't like you. You gotta go hide in the car. You're cracking. 
I, I don't care. I don't, it don't matter. First off, bitch. First off, you know what the fuck is going on. probably has a script he's trying to say to you. You That's know what the fuck is, is going cracking. on. She don't come down here. She's begging for the dick. DMs. Look at the DMs. She's begging for the dick. She's basically begging for a relationship. Yeah. I, I ain't doing that. I ain't going to be getting no damn relationship. You're squeaking, boy. You're fuck. squeaking. Talk like uh, a real man, yeah, and maybe yeah, I'll, I'll respect you. Voice, yeah, so go ahead and talk about my voice, Grace, with your big ass forehead looking at ass. I can slap my dick on My big ass forehead, take your hat off, brother. Take your hat off, brother. My big ass forehead, take your hat off. Look at his hairline. Look at his hairline. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, that was interesting. What? My, I have a question. What were you trying to do exactly? You were not trying to. You were not trying to go on a date. I'm assuming. Hopefully not. No, I'm, I'm just putting my bitch in check. Okay. All right. Grace, let's do. Let's let's just stick to uh, tradition. Grace, would you go on a date with Takayuki, Mister. Whose name I can't. Last name I can't pronounce. It's uh, no. Okay. Uh, then we got Mayu. What are your thoughts on this lovely gentleman? Uh, he needs to get some braces. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I honestly just have no idea what you were actually trying to do. I mean, I'm assuming you came out here largely to troll. Uh, hey, listen. Oh, listen, listen. listen. I'm not a nigga. Fuck these hoes. Fuck these hoes. <laughs> okay. This is a dude who's watched way too many Red Pill videos. <laughs> you know this guy or something? Maybe he follows Andrew Tate. I know him a little bit. I mean, he he watches my stream. He's been on. I've been on streams with him before. That's why I suggest that he talk to another girl. But I don't. I don't know him that well. But like, I've talked to him. He's talking. You know, whatever. Okay, so he's like like a hardcore regular or something like that. Or what the fuck is his deal? Not particularly. Like he watches anime and stuff. Oh. I think he was just joking around. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, all right. Let's bring on the next person. Uh, okay. Ooh, we got Rob's back. So you said Rob is like your friend or something? Yeah, Rob Rack. He's great. He's a streamer. Uh, he spits, get, he'll spit some game. Uh, all right, let's see that. I'm gonna bring him on. Then I'll get you on, Chris, and then I'll get you on. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch, who's the other person? I promise. Oh, I don't think they're even backstage anymore. All right, anyway, let's get him on. What's up? Peace, brother. How you doing? Uh, chilling, man. So, who do you want to go on date with? Um. Oh wow. You can so have I, girls too. I, I, I see there. There's two women up here. One in the green. A uh, top one in a black top. Um, also, I, I know Grace. Um, Hi, Rob. But I'm not. What's up, Grace? I'm not here for Grace. I'm. Okay. I'm actually. I'm actually not here for anybody. But you know, what I'm saying if I slide and I and, and I win, uh, I take the dub anytime. All right. So you want to go on date with Mayu and Chrissy at the same time, right? Well, no, not at the same time. I, I don't know neither one of these uh, beautiful. You only, you only, you only get to pick one. You only get to go once. Oh well, could you put both of them on the on the big screen, please? I would, I would appreciate that. Put both. So wait, what do you mean? Put them on the. He big just screen? wants to see what they look like. So can you full screen Chrissy oh, and then I, full I, screen Mayu? No, no, no. Looks indeed. You just got to make your make a decision. You can pick one. You can. Pick oh, one. I got to make a decision based off the. Okay. Uh, Awkward. Come on, Rob. <laughs> okay, Come on, Grandma. because because, because uh, well, I'm, I'm not that old. Uh, because of the posture and the confidence, I would choose green shirt. Her name is Chrissy. All right, Chrissy. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, hello, Chrissy. How you doing? My name is Rob. Hello, Rob. I'm good. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. How was your day today? My day was fantastic. I went to work. I went to the gym twice. I cooked some um, food, took care of my dogs, just like any other day. Oh, so you're a dog person. First of all, let's get to the food. Okay, I'm, I'm glad that you said you went to work today. That's a positive vibe. But then you said you cook. Now, I'm going to tell you some. I'm, I have a shellfish allergy. Would that be a... Uh, a problem if you were to say, I like this brother. Would that be a problem? Would you have a problem like you have to use different utensils to cook after you cut up some, you know, like shellfish? I've never cut up shellfish, so I don't think that's a problem. Oh, you're, you're, you're vegetarian or vegan? No, I just don't really eat seafood. Oh, okay. Uh, same here. 
Okay. So you're a dog person, little dog, big dog. Yes. Two little dogs. You have a problem with big dogs? No, I just prefer little dogs because I travel a lot to Europe and back, so they can travel with me. I don't have to put them in cargo. Oh, okay. So um, so um, a person who would want to uh, get with you, they would have to have a passport. You said what? Have to have a passport? You don't have a passport? You don't have a Well, how do you go to Europe without a passport? No, but are you saying that you don't have a passport? I don't think I've ever met a person without a passport. No, I never said I didn't have a passport. First of all. So you do have a passport. So did you? Yeah, did I travel. Wait, I, did I'm you just say saying. That? Say it again. Yeah. Did you ask if I would be with the person without a passport? Yes, that was my question. Um, probably no, because I travel a lot and I travel international. So you're going to have to have a passport. I want to show you where I'm from and stuff. Okay. And you're from where? I'm from Finland. Oh, that's what's up. That's a wonderful country. How do you know? What are the people, what are the people called in, uh, 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 uh Finland? They call Finnish or Dutch or what, what are they called? Finnish. Finish. Okay. That's what's up. I didn't know. I, me personally, I didn't know that um, there were women uh, with dark hair from from Finland. Like that. I that's a. You said what? I have blonde hair naturally. Oh, you just colored it dark. Oh. So you like, you like the color black. I do like the color black, but the reason for me to color my hair was because I wanted to be different when I still lived in Finland and everyone's blonde there. So I dyed it black, but then I ended up moving here where everyone has dark hair. But at this point, I think it just fits my personality better than being a blonde. So, okay. That's what's up. What if you took me to Finland with you and, um, you know, I got black hair naturally and look at me, I'm black. Would you feel comfortable taking me to Finland or would I have a problem? Finnish, Finnish girls are, are dying to have a black man. So you would be. But famous. what about you? Me? Yes, ma'am. Me kind of too. Not going to lie. Okay. That's what's up. I like that. Uh, so what is it about black men that uh, attracts you? I think it's more so that they're exotic for me because I have I was raised in Finland where we don't have that. So then now when I live here, I think that that's the only explanation I can think of. It's not like it's the only type of guys that I like, but is, I definitely is it a is it a is it a fetish? It's not a fetish, no. Would you marry a black man? Why Who fit your criteria? Why would you marry a black man that fits your criteria? I don't care what race you are, what anything you are. Like, if I love you, I love you. If I want to get married to you, I will get married to you. It doesn't matter at that point. That's what's up. Okay. That's what's up. And I'm so glad that, um, that I chose to speak to you. Uh, it wasn't your posture. It was the fact that you exude confidence and I'm very confident. So how do you know about my confidence just by looking at me? Um, your posture. I just said it. You you have a posture of uh, you're an open person. You seem like you're you're down to earth. And I'm not saying that you're not um a an elite human being on the on the feminine aspect of the spectrum. I'm just saying that you have a confidence about you that made me say, well, you know what? I would want to hear more. I want to hear. I love, I, I love your voice. First of all, your look is amazing. Your voice, but it was the way that you look like I could approach you and just have a conversation that really turned me on about you. Wow, I appreciate that. We love uh, observative man. Oh, that's what's up. I didn't know. I thought you know, in today's time, women love to be uh, aggressive. And which is no problem, but I, I'm a man. I'm I'm more aggressive than any female could be. But I don't want to put that forth with the woman that's on my arm. I want the woman to know, like, it's okay to be absolute feminine. It's okay. 
Like, I got everything. You ain't got to worry about nothing with me. Your job is to be, is to have mental health on 100%. You look good. You don't have to worry about nothing. If I need something that I don't have at the time, I know that I didn't took care of you so well to where you would take care of it. Oh, I think my wallet got stolen. The bill is $1,500. You're like, what this? What is that? That's nothing. And then you, you know what I mean? And then I'll be like, oh, I left my, my wallet in the car. So uh, you pay, like to me, just visually, and now that I got to know you even more, just by speaking to you, not only do you pay, you pass the vibe check in so many ways. Um, uh, I'm, I'm so happy that you blessed me with your conversation. I have a few more questions, if you don't mind me asking. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, I kind of let it run a little, little bit long. I'm sorry, but yeah, we do have like a four or five minute thing. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, yeah. um, wait, wait, did so, I pass? Did I pass the vibe yeah. check for you, ma'am? Like, did I? Just am I good? Rob, Rob, be patient. You're gonna find out right now. That's my next question. Just trust me. Let me do my thing, and then at the end, you can obviously pitch it. All right. So, Chrissy, would you go on a date with Rob back? Rob Rack. Um, I think we could continue the conversation like it was a good conversation i felt um safe and secure in that sense but it was a little bit too much of like an interview kind of thing Mm. and there was not like a spark like something like i don't know like something that like would turn me on Mm. like that sense (laughs) So if you have a good conversation and like I, you know, I I enjoy talking to him, getting to know him, but like other than that, I don't know. So gun to the head, you have to make a decision right now. Do you go on a romantic date with him or no? The romantic, no. Okay. Okay. What, new day. what what do you think he could have done better in your opinion? Just something like hit me with something, like a little flirt, you know, a little like get something spicy in there. Like I appreciated the compliments and I really appreciate that he talked about like how he was observing how I'm in the camera and stuff instead of just saying like, oh, nice tits or something like that. That was a nice thing. But then there should have been something like something spicy that would like stay in my mind. Like, oh, he said that. I should have robbed Ractor, huh, Grace? Yeah. You should tell okay. you're gonna get that. You gonna you gonna. Uh uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. Hey brother, um, I basically I got the vibe. I I I, I got it. I didn't want to be the the most. You know, I didn't want to. I just wanted to test the waters first. Yeah. So <laughs> I'll be back. I'll be back. I love it. It's I'm finna subscribe. Hang on, hang on. It's not over yet. Just stay on. We're, we're still. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Christ, man. Uh, okay. So here's my assessment. I think you're you're fairly confident. You're fairly charismatic. Uh, you can talk well. That's all well and good. I think uh, the, probably the biggest issue I would have with uh, this date or your game, or whatever, is I felt like you were qualifying yourself too much, uh, trying to prove to her that why you're a good partner. Uh, and I just that's never good. <laughs> frame to be in so you feel like you were qualifying yourself a lot uh but yeah that was the other thing is like talking about babies is a little i mean i know you said it's a joke but it's probably not a joke i would make so fast but yeah the biggest thing would be the qualifying that's the biggest thing that stood out to me other than that i think you're pretty socially astute i think you're uh pretty uh pretty charismatic and all that so yeah it's it's more of a technical thing like just instead of qualifying yourself maybe qualify the girl a little bit and i think you'll see totally different results uh all right uh mayu your feedback um, I don't know. It was just felt like it was kind of boring. Like you were going to ask how the weather is next. And then honestly, it kind of made me feel like, you know, those guys in your DMs that literally talk to themselves. Like they just keep sending messages after message after you don't respond and like loving the girl so much. Like it just mm-hmm. felt like, a, like fan. I don't know. It was just, it was weird. It, I, I felt like Grace hyped you up too much. I was, I was expecting to see some real game and there was, it was just like, Awkward conversation. I mean, Chrissy yeah, obviously. It's, it's his first time. Yeah. First time. Yeah. I, mean, I think you did. That's just my like... feedback. That's just the feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, Grace, what are your thoughts? Rob, I wish you'd gone in a little bit more, but I get that you were trying to be respectful. But I wish you'd rizzed her up a little bit more because I think she was she wanted that BBC. You know what I mean? She was she was she was ready for it. 
No, you right. I, I, I like I said, <laughs> I just hey, if this ain't my if, if I can come back again, of course, not knowing that you know, like I, I was just trying to be cool. No, you're, I you're didn't know I could, I didn't know I could be the real me. So, all right, yeah, uh, you know, the, all right. You're you're welcome. You're welcome anytime, man. Come back whenever. Whenever I do these, you're always welcome. Uh, hey, man, yeah. thank you. Yeah, you're um, I just I just wanted to say this before I leave. Oh. I want to thank all the ladies up here. I appreciate all y'all presence. I'm sorry I had to I had a gun in my head. I had to make a choice. Um, I just <laughs> you know, I had to make a choice, um, and I based that choice of you know like uh, logically, and I I totally understand that um, I was like. The brother said I was hyped up. Uh, I'm just trying to be respectful. But the next time I'm up, y'all yeah, yeah, gonna see the real me. Uh, okay. we, we, yeah. we look forward to it. All right, take care, buddy. Thank you. Peace, brother. All right. Seems like a good dude. He just talks a lot. You know, he right. was very respectful. That's why I was able to be so like calm and stuff because he was. He was. I think he was being himself. Like he was not trying to like be this fucking masculine whatever. Yeah, not calling you string cheese. Yeah. Right, Grace, didn't you say it though? Like, he's like more whatever, more Rizzy. Yeah, I think once he gets the vibe, like he's a he's like like there's a whole YouTube community that's like all black streamers, and he's like super used to interacting with them. So I think he just doesn't really get the vibe of like a different type of show, different stream. So uh, I think once he gets the hang of it, you'll see the real him. He's he's funny, but I think he was a little you know on edge, which is fine. It's okay. You can fuck around with white people. We can take jokes. <laughs> All right, let's bring on next person. He said wants to go on a speed date with multiple girls. All right, Ramsey, give me two fingers. All right, cool. All right, what's up, buddy? Hey, what's up, guys? All right, so who do you decide? You said you're multiple girls. Who do you decide on ultimately? Um, anyone. I, I mean, I'll take all of them. Mayu, you okay with staying on? <laughs> Come on, Mayu. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, let's see how this goes. Okay. Take this off. What's that foursome called? Is it like a threesome or a foursome? What are we having right now? This is a foursome. Foursome? Okay, who's the, one the one that's, who's the one that's the considered the brat? Chrissy. You know, I watched your your shorts thing like when you were with Alex. Yeah, how <laughs> do you do you all do all of you know Alex right now or what? Yeah. Did I met him, uh, Chrissy. I mean, I, I only know this too. So. Are you guys all in Miami? No, I, I just visited. Uh, I want you guys to berate me. Why is everyone so quiet? Because <laughs> you're really good looking. That's <laughs> why. <laughs> that's why we're quiet. <laughs> no. We're in awe. Well, thank you. So all of you are in Miami, yeah? No, I'm in Rhode Island. Yeah, they, I'm, in Miami. in Miami. I'm in Miami, too. In Miami, okay. Why did you, Chrissy, I remember you were saying um, everyone has looks but nothing else. Why do you say that? Because that's my experience in Miami, they, um, meeting girls or guys. I feel like everyone's hot, everyone's sexy, everyone's good looking, but no one is able to have a genuine, real Or they think they're good looking. <laughs> Maybe you scare them away. I mean, you said you're the brat. Oh, I didn't say I'm a brat. Other people said I'm a brat. No, I mean, you're pretty cool. I'm not saying you're a brat. You said you were a blonde or? I am naturally blonde. Oh, you said you like the black hair more or what? Yeah, I feel like it fits me. Better. I feel like if I flirt with one of you, I'm, I'm, like, I'm making the other two look bad. I mean, all of you are cute, but how well, old are you? Well, I'm jealous. Pick all three girls, so you gotta deal with it now. You I picked three. Know. Don't act like a victim of it. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> I mean, so how old are you all? Twenty-five. I'm twenty-one. Twenty-five. You're really twenty-one. No one believes me, but I'm I'm actually 21. I know I just ran both of you off the, the other two. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, you're a baby. Are you That's in school? Right. Perfect. In school? No. Yeah, me and me and Grace are. I mean, you all are left out. It's your loss. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, no, I do sales. Oh, where? Yeah, I, wait, where are I, I lead a sales <laughs> team, and so I'm used to going up to people and stuff. So I mean, I'm used to getting a lot of shit off people. Where are you? What do you sell? I'm in. I, I told you I sell insurance. Oh, you sell shrooms? Shrooms? Insurance. I never did shrooms, but I'd like to. Have you done shrooms? Oh, why? <laughs> <laughs> have you done? Has have any of you done shrooms? No. All right, you're a salesman. Why don't you sell yourself to us? 
Oh, no, why don't you self sell yourself to me? Yo, you stuttered. No, your turn first. <laughs> okay, okay. I did stutter. I did stutter. I did stutter. But um, what's your guys' ethnicity? Wait. I thought you were selling ethnicity? yourself. I'm not I thought you were selling myself. yourself. I am who I am. Come on, give us a rundown. Give us a rundown. Don't they tell you that in I, sales? Like, no, give us no. a I recap. Sell, Take I sell off the my product. Shirt. My product is my cock. You want me to sell my cock? <laughs> <laughs> no, just do a 360. Um, <laughs> 360? Yeah. My head? What do you want? Why she don't you to spin around. She wants you to spin around. Okay, you go first. <laughs> you tell me what to do? No. Yeah. Oh, okay, wait, go ahead. Sell your cock. Go ahead. Sell my cock? Well, no, well, mm. I'm going to leave it a mystery so that you're curious. So then we can fuck faster. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm 6'2". I mean, girls say, oh, how big is your shoes? I can guess the size of your cock, but I mean, they're never accurate. But you're also 21. Like, yeah. what am I trying to be, your mother? Yeah, you are. <laughs> so, are do you have roommates or what? Who are you asking? <laughs> All of us? She has, oh. a nice, she has a nice apartment. Oh, I don't. This is my apartment. Oh, what do you do for work? I am doing my PhD in neuroscience. Would you ever do OnlyFans? No. Nope. <laughs> I would. I mean, I'd fuck girls with OnlyFans, but I wouldn't date them. Like, yeah, well, I'm going to be a doctor, so I'm definitely not going to be an OnlyFans. You're going to be a hot doctor. Thanks. That sounds like a <laughs> porno a doctor. It feels like you just wanted to go on a date with Chrissy. Why did you bring me and okay, Mayu right, into this? Okay, you're right. You're right. Yeah. What's your ethnicity, Grace? Um, you're the only 21. You're my best option right now. Norwegian, <laughs> Hungarian, Ukrainian. Oh, what about White. you, Mayu? Me? Yeah. Uh, my dad's from Peru. That's it. Do you speak Spanish? No. <laughs> oh. Is anyone yeah. here Spanish? Okay, what's your ethnicity? I'm Lebanese. I'm Arabic. You now Arabs oh. have big cocks. That's what they say. Habibi. Said that, like, Relax. Habibti. <laughs> so how are you stand with Palestine? I don't. I don't even watch the news. Honestly, I don't even know what's going on. People ask me. I'm like, I don't know. I had one guy <laughs> yesterday. He was like, he just saw me. Arab. He was like, hey, you work at the gas station? I was like, why? He's like, you're Arab. I was like, damn, bro. <laughs> but no, I just do sales. <laughs> He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I was like, you're good, man. Why are you guys just looking at me like that? <laughs> you're talking. <laughs> okay. What about what do you do for work, Mayu? I'm a I'm a property manager. Property manager? Do yep. your clients like try to flirt with you and stuff? I had a cop sure come in do. recently that was a little I had to give him like footage of stolen scooters and footage. he started texting me like outside. I I'd do the same thing. <laughs> You said you're 25. Yeah, and then the pl a plumber, plumbers <laughs> go like obviously Plum you're into like do they, when they fix your toilet, do they like show you their ass crack when they like fix the toilet? Uh, th yeah, because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm in sales. One of the principles they teach us is gas man theory. Like you just assume everything. They t they lose the example of like a plumber. He just he just walks in. He just does whatever the fuck he wants and gets out. Yeah, you don't ask that's for, actually true. You don't ask for approval. You just do whatever you want to do. They do. They shut off my water, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> thanks. All right. Anyway, that was fun. So uh, let's start off. Uh, let's go in order. Chrissy, would you go on a date with Ramsey? Ramsey. No. Ramsey. Okay. Uh, All right, sorry. Great. Wait, hang on. Uh, Grace, would you go on a date with uh, Ramsey? Or fuck, sorry. How, how do I pronounce your name? Say it again. Ramsey. Ramsey. Okay. Ramsey Bold by Game of Thrones. Okay. Would you go on a date with Ramsey? I'm like really in between. I don't know. I can't really say. I like more towards yes. Yeah, I guess so. Walk us through your decision. Like why no? Why yes? Well, I mean, okay. So he's really cute, first of all. Um, but and he, he does seem to like have a sense of humor. But it just came off a bit awkward. But I I, I get that people are nervous, so I, I can't really decide. I can't really. I, he didn't give much personality, so I can't really tell. Okay, Mayu. I say yes. Um, I mean. He is, I mean, the only thing in, I probably would say yes, just to like, I don't know, have fun. And then because he talks about his cock too much and then, but he did, he tried to entertain everybody. So props. <laughs> so would it be more of a platonic date or romantic date? I feel like he'd be fun to go out with a group of friends. Like it would be, I would, it, I would invite him out like as my date with a group of friends. So I guess romantic in that way. Okay. Gotcha. Just for a fun night. That's it. It wouldn't be like, cause he's just. He's obviously 21. 
Okay, so here are my observations. As far as three-way dates go, you did better than the majority of people. Start off pretty good, but then I felt like it went a little bit downhill. So one good thing is you didn't really lose control of the convo at any point, which happens the last majority of group dates, so that's good. And the sales thing makes sense. I also used to work in sales, so I can kind of recognize. But is like okay there's a few things first of all yes i do think you talk about your dick too much like the first time was like mildly funny but then the second time was just like kind of weird uh sometimes the combo no, like, no, no, I, I asked him to sell his <laughs> cock. okay that's not his fault that's not his fault <laughs> listen grace okay he's he's already down to fuck you don't have to like simp for him uh some sometimes the comedy just didn't make sense like with the shroom stuff for example uh chris he was like wait you sell shrooms and then you just like change the topic to shrooms like sometimes the combo didn't really follow also it sort of feels like sometimes you have a forced for smile a little bit like i don't know if you're like doing that on purpose or not if you're trying to smile uh but yeah i don't know i feel like sometimes it kind of ventured off a little bit it is good that you didn't qualify yourself that's a trap you avoided but um yeah i don't know i have like mixed feelings about this one i guess let's let the other girls weigh in there so chrissy why did you say no um first of all the age and and after the age immediately when we're like oh wow um he started the cop shit like were you trying to like i don't know but like those two things were just a turn off for me like you started it good and it's a it's a hard situation to be in a call with three girls not gonna lie it's a hard situation so you did in general well but like i just felt like what what would i even talk about with you other than your cock and some shrooms like i don't know just no not a vibe not a vibe for me Okay, uh, but he's good looking. Nah. Okay. I'm I'm just trolling. Okay, uh, Grace Walker, what do you think he could have done better? Well, the only thing I would say is like I felt like he was like like really focused on like I don't know the red pill calls it like holding frame. I just felt like he could have been a little more playful and answered our questions a little bit more instead of like always like like bring up a new topic of conversation. Like, I don't think it makes you weak to like answer a girl's questions and it would have like allowed for more chemistry, but I mean, it's a yeah, difficult situation. So. But he yeah. was witty. Like he would respond. He's like, your mommy. Like, I don't know what the conversation was, but I feel like he had like a response to everything. And I was like surprised because I haven't seen that yet. Yeah. As far as three, three people, uh, uh, dates go definitely did better than most people. Okay. Maya, do you think anything he could have done better? Yeah, the cock thing that like when it came up the second, third time, I'm like, oh yeah, the, he's barely can drink. So, uh, so you're one point five out of three, or I guess 1. the 5. cock stuff messed it all up. Still pretty good. Oh no, I mean you still got one. Girl Not for me. Got, one girl. Yeah, <laughs> Grace is all about the cock thing. You better send her some a few cock. I like it. Things. Lock her down. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, cool man. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, guys. Take it easy, buddy. All right, let's go for it. Let's uh, where it's uh, Alan. let's do, do another 20 minutes or so. Okay, let's bring on Dennis. Uh, Dennis, uh, give me two fingers. All right, what's up? Yo, what's up? So, you want to go on date with Chrissy? Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take it. Right <sighs> Hello, I'm Dennis. How are you doing tonight? Hello, Dennis. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Um, just chilling. I like Alex's content, you know, pretty entertaining. Yeah. So tell me about yourself. Do you want to go on a date with him or like? No, I'm with you. I'm talking with you right now. Oh, okay. You want to talk about Alex? Isn't here our friend? What do you want to talk about? What's on your mind? Am I on a date with you or you're on a date with me? We're on a date right now with each other. Are you okay? Like, have you been drinking or something? Like, you don't seem to be like I following wish stuff. I was, honestly, I wish I was. But yeah, I don't know. It's late. Maybe you just need some sleep, but. You're in Miami, that's pretty lit. How long have you been there for? I moved to Miami last August. Mm -hmm. You like, like, brain, um, what did you say you were studying? Neuroscience. 
That's good. Um, I, 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 I read some books. So one of one of so one book you should read is called The Winner Effect, and it basically talks about how when you win. When you feel like a winner and you win something, your brain creates more serotonin, more dopamine, more um, dopamine, serotonin, some of the other feel-good chemicals. But when you lose, the inverse is true. So when you lose, you actually, like, your brain produces less dopamine and less serotonin, which makes you feel like a loser. So that's what this book talks about. Pretty good book, but... What but have what you been about, reading? But what about the loser effect? Because all of that, that's the fact. You can't win in life all the time. So why, mean, like, don't, why don't you read a book about what are you going to do when you lose and you can't depend on those feel-good hormones like dopamine and serotonin? How do you get out of that and get more motivated, get more dedicated, and work harder than before? Because if you just want and and try to try to um, get as much dopamine and serotonin as you can, just go have drugs, go have alcohol, go have sex, and you'll get that dopamine boost. But where's that gonna get you? Well, like drugs is like an artificial way to create it, but you're right. But I I don't think you have to lose much. Like I think if you're careful and you're diligent, like. You don't have to like take too many losses. Like Warren Buffett says, rule number one in investing is don't lose money. Rule number two is don't forget rule number one, you know? So if you're careful, you don't have to really take losses. So you shouldn't um, have to deal with the brain effects of feel, feeling like a loser. But that's interesting. How long have you been going to college for that? I've been studying neuroscience for five years. I have four more years till I graduate and become a doctor. And yeah. And then an, this is a good one, evolutionary psychology. That's about like, you know, how the human humans evolved from hunter gatherers and how we still have like the same software, but we live in like, you know, modern day time. So that causes a lot of problems. Yeah, I have a psychology background as well. But you believe in evolutionary psychology? Yeah, I mean, I think that's pretty like up to date. Yeah. yeah. Pretty like up to date, well respected Dr. David Buss. Like he was, he taught at Harvard for a couple of years. He's at like University of Austin now, I believe. Who do you study under? Who do I study under? There is multiple mentors that I study under. I study at the University of Miami. Never like, do they have any like published books or anything? Like, would I know any? Well, I don't know what you knew, but I published a paper myself about cannabis and pain and the brain. Tell me about it. Well, I studied people. You're a weed smoker. You like to get high. Are you just changing the topic or like? I mean, why would you write the paper on that? You know, I feel like that's like someone's trying to justify a bad habit, you know, like, oh, it helps me like this. And, you know, like now you're just like a drug addict or I don't know, like, no, that's why I'm asking you. Tell me about it. The purpose of the paper was to show that people who have spinal cord injuries and suffer in severe pain um, rather use cannabis to treat their pain than morphine or, or morphine pay based opioids. So have you heard of, um, have you heard of Kratom? Kratom is like a natural plant that they use. Uh, me, me and Alex are both big fans of Kratom. Yes. Although I typically don't talk about it on the first day, but yes, <laughs> I am a big I fan think of it. I on a day with Alex. I think that's what you actually wanted. But no, 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 no. You no. want both of us? Like, I think you could have both of us. Me and Alex would be down. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, Definitely negative on that one. All right, Chrissy, would you go on a date with Dennis? Um, no. Okay, what do you think he could have done better? Um, talk about something else than, than books and, like, 
try to talk about what I'm studying. I felt like I was talking to an undergraduate student who would be interested in going to a grad school program. You're calling me smart. Thank you. I appreciate the compliment. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that was like kind of, it just felt like extremely logical and like platonic, like like a partial, like like maybe a college interview or something like that, not job interview, like college interview. Oh. My thinking was all the other guys were like, oh, you're beautiful, talking about like how beautiful she is. So if I talk about the mind, that would be you different. Can, you, don't have to, yes. you, don't have to, you don't have to like simp and call her beautiful over and over again. There's a nice in between. You can be playful and tease her and have you a fun. You really talk about the mind. I, I wanted to like get her hooked with talking about like something she's interested in. And then from there, build. once she's like hooked and she's invested, then you switch it to the emotional. But when I was trying to tell you about something that I'm interested in, which is the study I published, you immediately changed the topic to, oh, you're a weed smoker. So you probably just, you know, plagiarize your, your own studies. Like, I mean, you kept trying to like shit test me. You were like, oh, really? Oh, like, man, this oh, is this, all oh, that. So I had to like, stop, you know, stop, stop, I had stop, to be stop, more stop, like. Stop, 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 stop. This is not like a debate. Uh, this is just like <laughs> Uh, if you want to set up a debate with Chrissy, you can do that in your own time. All right. So, um, Chrissy, do you have any other feedback before we move on to uh, Mayu and Grace? No. I have okay. nothing to say. All right, Grace. Way to rip. <laughs> what did she say I could move on? She said she doesn't have anything, I think. She doesn't have anything else to add. Nothing I can improve on? Well, that's what that's what Chrissy said, yeah. Uh, she said she, she already said what she had to say. All right, Grace. <laughs> I mean, Dennis, like, I think you are hilarious. Um, you're very funny. You cooked her a few times. You, you got you got some you got some W's in there, but uh, you lack basic social skills. I don't know. I don't know how to how else to say that. Um, but you're you remind me a lot of my younger brother. So I don't know. I, I think you're very funny and charming, but you lack a lot of basic social skills. So I don't know. I don't know where to go from there. Do you what have do you friends? Mean by that, though? Yeah, I have friends. Like, you don't what you mean? don't talk to people like the way normal people talk to each other. You kind of come okay. at it from like a very uh I don't know, like it's not flowing, you know what I mean? But you're still you're like you 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 have a sense of humor and stuff. It's just you don't I don't know. You're just kind of out there. You see my like feedback would be like I don't actually think that you always lack social skills. I think that I've seen you do pretty well. This was just not one of those times. So I've seen you do much better than this. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So you're just having, I don't know, for whatever reason, you were just having a massive off night tonight. But yeah, I've seen you do a lot better. And I've also seen you do like this. And today was one of those times. Mayu. I would just say the beginning, it didn't seem like uh, you were able to find any common ground. Like I did kind of like that you asked, oh, what, are, um, what books have you read? Like maybe there's something we both know. I was like, oh, okay she talks about being a doctor so like it's kind of good to try to get on that intellectual level but yeah i feel like you weren't bringing up common subjects that would keep a conversation rolling um if you guys did have something in common uh -huh. i don't know maybe <laughs> all right all right thanks dennis appreciate you buddy all right thank you i appreciate the feedback um thank you thank you alex take it easy man uh Okay, we're gonna get close to wrapping up. We're gonna do three more people. We're gonna go like kind of rapid fire, three, four minutes each. So Chris, I know I promised you, and then we'll do Johnny K and Ron Ron. I know that's your favorite boy, Mayu. Uh, okay, let's quickly go through these people. All right, Chris. You know, the thing about wait. Dennis, just really quickly, the thing about Dennis is he's like, he's actually really cute from some angles. Like, you know what I mean? He's 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 a good looking guy. It's it's just the social thing is off, but wait, he's cute. About the one that I can talk about talk with. Hmm? Yeah, the, the guy you just went on a date with, yeah. Okay. All right, Chris. So you said which two girls are you picking? Oh, uh, we Chrissy and, and Mayu. Chrissy and Mayu. Okay. Uh, let's see how this goes. How are we doing, girls? Good. Doing? Wait, is it Chris? Yeah, it's Chris with us. Is it like mine, like almost the same? Chris, Chrissy. Hey, must mean something, right? Uh, God works in mysterious ways. We'll see. Right. Yeah. So we're you're all from both from Florida, right? From Miami. Am I 
correct from already. I'm from Finland, but I live in Miami. Yeah, that's what that's right. I'm from Finland. And all right. So it looks like we we have I know we have probably two things in common, well, at least the three of us, is obviously we've both been to uh Florida. Um I like to borrow that. And we both like cardio, so that's that's a good thing. What are you uh, cardio? Yeah, you guys do you I, said you do exercise, right? You exercise or not? I don't cardio though. I don't how I do you, don't want to walk. Oh, I know how to. You oh. might be able to convince me to sprint, but I cannot run. Like when I used to wrestle, I used to be the heavyweight, like you with wrestle? the heavyweights. Okay. Yes, I used to wrestle. All right, well, class. Maybe we what, can weight class? Oh, I was super light. I was one twenty, and now I'm pretty heavy. Yeah, same. I think that's what I finished wrestling when I was in high school. Nice. What what type of cardio do you do, Chrissy? I run, run the stairs. The stairs, the stairmaster. Okay, so yes, you're probably so gonna be right. by the end of your by the end of your cardio because dude, doing stairs sucked ass. But yeah, I love you, cardio. I well, today I did 45 minutes of bike. Usually I do stairs. I do boxing too as my cardio. Um, yeah. I walk a lot. I do a bunch of stuff. I love cardio. Okay, all right. So how do we unwind though after like? Really? A long day after getting work on like a car well after getting cardio done how do we unwind usually how, how do we you? unwind yeah. My, well, you... i have a problem i, I eat you I eat, eat. <laughs> <laughs> so I have some popcorn i don't know something <laughs> um all right you eat i've been trying to read the new book dune dune Not oh. new, but it's an old book but i'm trying to read <laughs> okay all right so you read chrissy what do you do I have a problem with unwinding unless there's someone to literally put me on the couch. I will do a yoga class. I will go to a Pilates class. You I probably will... probably sleep with a book like this, right? Yeah, like I, I don't stop. Yeah, I mean, you're... unless there's a person who's like Chrissy, you get your ass on the couch and you're not getting out. Yeah, got you. So you're well, you said you're a, you're a graduate student, right? Because you're you're doing your okay. Yes, sir. Oof. I, I bless you because that's definitely not easy. But no, I it's do, not. Yeah, my what do you do? Like uh, you said, your property. I I was barely property in. manager. Okay, property manager. What do you what do you just what do you, what does that do? Like I don't even know. Um, I mean, basically, if you've ever had a problem with your apartment and you know how you get mad at like the management, that's that's me. I, okay. I'm the people who deal with all that. All right, so I should take your phone number before I before we get off. Because yeah, I got you. <laughs> all right cool awesome nice so we both like cardio so i can definitely think one way we can all you know belong together you know if you think about it i think there's one cardio that all of us like yeah even my yeah what is it <laughs> i think we all know what it is but we can keep that after this you know after this video we don't have to show it to everyone you know we get it after this so we can do a cardio after this i mean only it's only cardio if you don't have stamina true i mean some people do it lazy, right? It depends. But how, how about you, Chrissy? How do you do? How do I do what? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I, I can see it in your head already. There's like a dirty little thought there thinking already what of my question or well, of your response. No, I like, what do you mean? How do I do what? How do I have sex? Like, is that what you want to ask? Well, my, you said it. Might as well now say it. Yeah. I'm not I'm not going there in this. Right. <laughs> it's okay. We'll, we'll move to my own. I feel like people can very no, much no, make, no, make no, their okay. own own, you know, ideas of how I like it just based on how I talk. Okay. All right. I mean, are you dominant? Are you submissive? Depends on the man. If the man's dominant enough, oh, hell yeah, that's my shit. But if I am the dominant one in bed. What about, okay, what about the guy who was being dominant with Grace? That, like, that's your shit? Like, that dominant? Oh, no that dominant? Oh, boy, hell no. My <laughs> you, like, you, like, you, don't, you don't want to be whatever the way he was describing. I don't know. That was oh, yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, you didn't watch that, Chris? Yeah, she said she wants to be that guy wants to be choked. He wants to be like put to sleep. No. I, yeah, I want to be what about you? Are you choking and putting people to sleep? Or what are you doing? Are you being delicate? Yeah, delicate? Well, I like to be dominant. So if you want a good ass banking, I, I got you. Are you able to like throw around the girl in bed and stuff? 
Like, yeah, are you like, you have the, the, you know, the muscle? Or, so every good. guy's going to say that. So, well, yeah, because, you know, I'm going to have people pounds, but there's guys who can't do it. I mean, there's only one way to find out, honey. So, yeah. That's it. That's all you got. You can only talk about bed. No, I mean, that's where, that's where everything is. Any went. books? Any what? book? What do you do? I mean, I'm not going to show you my library like the other guy. I mean, I like to have a <laughs> conversation, and if it goes off, it will go. But, but what know. do you do? Like, what do you. What well, do you I do. do? What I, I, I own my business, uh, and I work in higher ed. That's it. So that's why I know what you go through, because that shit must be crazy, especially going through yourself. So. All right. Uh, so uh, let's start off with Chrissy. Would you go on date with Chris? You guys have a similar name. Look at that. Um, I don't know. Like, kind of, kind of not. It, I think it's very hard to say in like a group setting. Maybe a group date, sure. But one to one, I don't know if there would be. I don't know. I don't know. Honestly. Yeah. I, yeah. Okay. Undecided on that one. What about you, Mario? Um, just based off a of conversation, I feel like we could go on a date. Like we can make it through. Maybe just like a dinner. Though. Romantic or like romantic? Not a romantic. going out date. Romantic. Um, it would start. I would. I would give a platonic date a chance based off of the conversation we've had. Oh. But I wouldn't like if you asked me to go. Like, oh, let's go to this bar and hang out longer. I don't know. We'll, I don't think it would make it that far. Oh, uh -huh. I don't go to bars with Doug. Yeah, I, was, uh, Myra, I I would make it through a date. <laughs> That's rough. I was. Uh, <laughs> I feel like we have a conversation. Uh, 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 all right, so I was uh, I was honestly only half paying attention because I was trying to cook at the same time. But I do think there's some things you did well, and some things maybe not so much. So you were pretty confident and assertive throughout the whole thing. You had a very calm, like grounded demeanor. I think that was good. You were able to make the conversation sexual, but then I think it got a little like too repetitive it just became like kind of like redundant almost and like the questions weren't really like it's like so how do you like to have sex it's like kind of like i don't know like the way i would phrase that i would be like so what kind of weird fucking shit are you into chrissy like i don't know like, i think it just needs to be a little bit more playful and balanced out with humor to take away from the awkwardness of talking about sex within like the yeah. first do you guys agree with that though christy and Mayu, about alex's voice yeah a hundred percent what he um, just said. Because I feel like when you, you were okay. starting it, you're like, we you know what we're talking about. And then you're like, uh, how did I get into this conversation? How do I get out of it? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it makes sense. All right. So let's do feedback. Chrissy, what uh, advice would you give Chris? Um, I think he did pretty well. Um, that sex thing was kind of weird. kind of turned me off. That's like, but how do you like it? And then I'm like, like what? Like say it, like spit it out if you want to ask it. Um, you like it? No, I like being straightforward. Okay, I'm asking, how do you like it? Like what? Like you asking me or like sex? Yeah. Like why mm -hmm. are you so interested? How do you like sex? You, see, you just like said it. So you know, gonna say the question, then just say the answer. But like, is that a good good? question to ask like when you I'm not saying but I mean you brought it up so I was like if she brought it up might as well just say it now but like you could have <laughs> explained how you like it and then oh, like, I can imagine it in my head because you know women like to think yeah. so yeah. maybe then if what you explained aligns what I like maybe I could have said yes to today I don't mm -hmm. know but like me just telling about myself and how I like it how how is that making you interested? Interesting to me. I don't. I don't like the phrasing of "How do you like sex?" It feels like kind of like a middle school, high schoolish like way to ask that question. Yeah. I think there's definitely. I don't think there's anything wrong with the question, of course, but I think there's better phrasing for it. Uh, like aside from the example I gave, for example, I would say uh, I don't know, like something. What's What's the kinkiest shit you're into? I don't know, like something like that, or what's uh uh what's your what's your biggest turn on these days like something along like that i think is a better way to pose that question rather than like how do you like sex or on a scale from one to ten how submissive are you like i don't know something along the lines of that uh, you're submissive, but yeah. 
uh, Gra- uh you Chrissy, you that? said you like uh, Chrissy. Come on, you said you like. Oh, I like being direct, and you're like, I think we all like the same type of cardio. What are you're you're not being direct. You 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 made an implication there. He was trying to play along, and you're like, be direct. You're all over the place. Thank you. No, I was gonna say the same thing. I feel like we everyone was like talking about the same thing, and then all of a sudden it was like, say it, say it with your chest, and I was like, oh, I thought everybody was just saying it off without the chest. <laughs> yeah, well, I was trying to trying to make the the conversation a little bit flirty because like there was nothing like I was telling I like to do the bike and I like to you know do the stairs so I was just trying to bring in the flirt because no one else did but if you're straight up asking me how I like it in bed why don't well, you I was saying cardio and I was trying to hint at it I'm not gonna be like you know cardio sex Obviously, no, everybody got the hint except for we got the hint maybe Chris yeah we got it do you, wait, uh, but Chrissy, do you want him to she, say how do you? Do you want do you want him to say how do you like sex? I mean, that's like not a very sexy thing to say. No, I didn't put him because she was like even Marla liked it, like, and I was like, oh yeah, can you feel down like that's unnecessary. No beefing with other women. All right, anyway, thanks for coming on. Appreciate you, man. Have a good night, buddy. Take it easy. Have a good night, man. Thank you, bud. Take care, bud. All right, we're gonna do one last person. Uh, Ron, Ron. My man, what's up, buddy? Hey guys, how's it going? Pretty good. Hello. Hello. I thought Johnny was gonna come on before me. No, he had to go. Uh, he failed. He had some shit going on. Oh, uh, but anyway, so you, you, you want to go on date with Chrissy, right? Uh, Chrissy, yeah. yeah. All right. I, you know, I can't double dip on my year, right? You cannot. No. All yeah. right. Let's see how. Okay. Hello, Chrissy. I pretty much know everything about you because everyone asked all the questions. You're from Miami. You're Finnish. That's pompous grass, not a tree. Uh, you you work out, right? What gym do you go to? Huh? What gym do you go to? I go to Boxer. Boxer. Okay. Yeah, I've seen that one. It's uh, it has like a very like black aesthetic. Yep. Uh, I was Boxer. going to Elevation, but I might be changing to um. Powerhouse gym. You've been to those? Yes, I w- I been a model for Elevation. Oh, okay. I uh, maybe I've seen you, uh, but you know, like they have a lot of models, I guess. Uh, is that a that green top one of your like gym fits? Yeah, I came straight from the gym. Like, oh, okay. You, you yeah. came straight from the gym and got on here for for Alex. I just re- and I also picked up that you were the uh, the person that was giving him a hard time with the interview. I wasn't right. giving him a hard time. I think he just handled it really well. I think it yeah. was. No, he fun. does. Well, come on. It's Alex. Of, of course. Yeah. We were just but having so, fun. It, it was nothing like I was try- not trying to give him a hard time or nothing. It was just uh, banter. Got, yeah. Gotcha. Uh, so what, what do you know? What, what do you normally work out? Like what's your split like throughout the week? What do I work out? Well, I usually do um, shoulders. Um, and then I do glutes and hamstrings because those are the ones for my sport that I need to improve. And then I do a little bit of back. Um, so Mm -hmm. basically I do, I don't train chest. I don't train arms. I don't train quads. Those are all because I compete in a specific category where, you know, you don't want to have big arms. You want to be feminine, you know, stuff like that. Oh, okay. Right. For your modeling thing. That's what you mean, right? They want a specific kind of physique and yes. so you're only going for the muscles you need to hit obviously glutes mm-hmm. so you you said you're going to become a doctor right you're, you're studying medicine yes right? neuroscience yeah well, are you you're doing your residency where i'm doing phd okay um and you said you wrote your own paper, right? I guess every PhD needs to needs to publish something, right? Well, I, I published my paper when I was undergrad. So I've been doing research for, for many, many years in neuroscience about the brain, spinal cord injuries, pain, cannabis, all that kind right. of stuff. Hey, so like how cannabis can be used for like, uh, what, like to um, suit pain? That's my job. So as a substitution for other pain medications that have more severe side effects, for example, for people who have spinal cord injuries, mm-hmm. um, that was what the focus was on. But right now I'm also doing fMRIs and MRIs of healthy volunteers to 
trying to map the, the pain pathway in the brain and the specific areas that are involved in pain. So I do a, kind of, a lot of stuff. I'm actually a, a, a big nerd. I also code a lot. I do coding, machine learning, all that. Oh, kind of what, what languages? Huh? What languages? What do you mean? Like, what languages? Coding? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, what kind of Java, uh, C++? Well, I use R, Python, R Studio. Okay, That's Python. Okay. Yeah, Python is like, I don't know, that was the easiest for me for sure for for uh, my degree. Um, What's your so degree? So you're from Miami. I take it you live in Brickell, I guess, mm -hmm. right? Because that's where you ran into to Alex. Yes. I live in downtown where, you know, we're close. What's your favorite restaurant? Um, I like Komodo. Okay. So you like sushi, you like, you know. I like all like small plates. Like I love to order a bunch of like appetizers or something and then just split everything. That's I think that's like a European thing. I don't like American like big ass plates of food because I get bored of that same flavor. Yeah, gotcha. And you go upstairs to party because it has like a club upstairs. Yeah, I'm not a party girl per se. I don't really do nightlife that much, but I've been there a couple times. You look like you can dance. You look like you can, you know, cut the rug. I like I like to dance. I love to dance. I just don't drink alcohol and do drugs, really. And okay, but like listen, I never smoked a puff of weed in my life. I mean, granted, I do drink, but, like, dancing's just fun. You, when you have the right partner, like I'll lead you, I'll grab you from the hand, I'll take you to the dance floor, and I'll make sure you have fun for sure. No, I love dancing, I just don't enjoy the club atmosphere in Miami specifically. I mean, you can dance at sure. home, I can put on music, and we can dance here privately. Okay, I mean, hey, you invite me, I invite you, whichever. We, we seriously, like, maybe less than a mile away from each other. It's gonna be a more than a mile from Brickell to downtown. No, I walk it all the time. I, I walk to Pepito's. Oh. I, I, let, I let it run a bit longer than usual, actually. Uh, all right, Chrissy, would you go on a date with Ron Ron? Um, I could. I think we would have a good time. I think he he <coughs> has something else to talk about than just sex or his dick or how hot um, he thinks I am or whatever, like superficial stuff. Mm. Okay. What, what, what I, really you like, I really like when a guy asks something about my degree and my career and all that stuff. And also he asks a lot of stuff about what I do outside of that, which is also important to me. So would it be a romantic date or platonic date? Um, well, at least for now, I don't feel like I didn't feel like a romantic vibe there. Um, I felt like we would have a good time, like as friends and you know, have a conversation that way. Okay. What do you think he could have done better? I think he did very well. I think the conversation was good. I just don't think that there was that spark. Like, you know, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just not in between us or maybe it just was too short of a time for that, but yeah, I think this 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 would probably work pretty well in real life, like kind of coming coming under the radar. But when you have a five, or I guess in this case six, six and a half men, uh, you did start making it much more fun and flirty near the end. But I feel like if you just started that like a few minutes earlier, uh, I was looking for a way to get to that, and then the dancing. Tell. I'm like, oh, let me. Oh well. But it was interesting when she was telling me. Like I was, I was paying attention. I was like, "Go, please, tell me. This is really cool." I got you. Uh, okay, Grace, Mayu, any thoughts? Um, I mean, what you guys just said, like it, it felt like he was like trying to like look for something, and then he did find a little thing at the end, and then. But I think, yeah, if they were in person, it probably would have been a little bit better than. Um, whatever like it just felt it felt like an adult interaction you know when you're talking to adults in an elevator like oh okay oh that's cool in, and in the in my head the whole time i'm like oh i'm timed i'm timed i gotta flirt this up i gotta yeah you could tell being flirty i'm like I gotta <laughs> I watch this. that was the problem like yeah, yeah i think yeah. It didn't feel like, natural at all. Really, then you know it's like you like, were looking for the next thing to talk to you before the conversation even ended you're like okay we'll do this we'll do this oh dancing oh come over and let's dance whatever but, 
Uh, um, my feedback would be, I, I just don't know how you're supposed to get to Chrissy, to be honest, to create chemistry. She just seems kind of like antisocial, no, 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 personally. No, no, no fighting so, with those girls. Great. I don't know how you're supposed to appeal to her. I don't know what kind of man would possibly appeal to this woman. I mean, you no fighting with other girls. You do this every single fucking time. Every single show, you get into fights with other girls. No fighting with other girls. Just Grace, we haven't fought yet. One show where you don't fight with other girls. You're good now. Keep going. Do you have any feedback for for Ron? Ron. I mean, I, he was a little bit boring, but he was overall pretty smooth. I don't know. It's pretty chill. I don't really like. I don't. There's nothing. There's not much feedback for him. I do appreciate you uh, talking positive about me. That felt good. Chrissy, random question: What's the difference between uh, functional MRI and a regular MRI? Huh? What's the difference between functional and regular MRI? Yeah. In functional MRI, you're giving us some kind mm -hmm. of skin participants so for example i'm um um in inducing pain or itch to the participant if just structural mri is just taking a picture of the brain but in fmri you kind of get like what does the stimulus that i give them like a pain do in the brain so it okay. shows that how it, the brain reacts to that got you i was just curious all right ron ron thanks for coming on buddy appreciate you later guys okay. later. all right so we have a special one guest Oh, wait, hang on. Let me announce it. So there's one guy who wants to come back. It's uh, Ramsey. I said I'll give him three minutes. Chrissy, are you cool for staying on for another three minutes? Yeah, I'm all right. Uh, we, got, we got this guy wants to come back for round two. Uh, like I said, three minutes, three and a half of it's really entertaining. Well, let's see how this goes. Okay. Can okay, there we go. I can't take no for an answer. I'm back. Thank you, uh, Grace, for backing me up. Okay. Uh, do, me, do me proud. <laughs> I'm not gonna let you know. right now. I thought so. it was the other guy. I didn't even know it was him. <laughs> okay, so it's Ramsey. It's not Ramsey. Finally, you're not um, mugging me, Christy. Thank you. What? You were mugging <laughs> me the whole time last time. How was I mugging you? It's like damn. I was putting I all. Think the you were just comfortable. You. you were just like this comfortable. You weren't mugging. No. How tall are you, Mayu? Five three. No, because, I mean, I know, like, you guys are 25. Usually, like, oh, you're such a baby, you're such a baby. But then, like, they end up not caring. As long as I don't, like, give a fuck, they end up not caring. Like, do you guys actually care that I'm younger? Yes, because you literally talked about your, your private. Okay, apart party. from the cock. Proved, I mean, I, you. That proves, like, every conversation <laughs> would, would. Yeah, exactly. That, like, said, like, I talking to you is literally how other 20-year-olds talk. And it's just, they're all the same. You're 20-year-olds. 20 like 21 20 <laughs> 20 19. Okay. No, but for real, guys brain don't even fully develop before you're 25 so like how am i Man, supposed to go on a date with someone whose brain is not fully developed like you know, starfish okay um you're so doing the 21 year old thing you're like have you ever said team. yes to anyone chris <laughs> he said yes to ron <laughs> no fuck ron i'm here but uh, <laughs> i think he's probably mad at me and he's probably watching but okay, Grace, why are you so into me? Why do you keep backing me up so much? Because I thought you were funny, and I thought you you said you learned and you wanted to try again. I yeah, got a I question know. for you though. How come you're so into Chrissy? She's a fucking bitch. I I'll know, be man. nice to you. I'm being nice to you. I'm simping for you. I'm being okay. sweet to you. Why are you going after her? Okay, what's your number? What's your number? everyone? What's your? Oh no, you can't say it over here. Everyone's gonna call you. No, but why? You find her like there's something compelling about her, right? You're gonna break her down because she's a bad bitch, and you're gonna make her yours. You're not gonna get through to her. Look at her face. Look at her nails. I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe she's secretly into me. You never know. How tall are you, Grace? I'm five ten. Five ten. Mm -hmm. Are you really? Yeah. You're like five five, Mayu. Five four. I am five. In three quarters. He's like five six. No, I'm the same than my five five. Yeah, I'm no, six two. Five three and a half. I mean, my ID says I'm six two, but every time I measure myself, I'm like six one. I just say I'm six two. Every guy says they're six two, no matter really? if they're five seven or six. Maybe two. I should just say I'm five. Ron six, says he's six. You know what? You know what? You know what, Ramsey? My dad is six eight, so like you don't even compare. So like okay, whatever. I don't even care about you. I know. I don't even care about you. I like whatever. Yeah. I I'm can't even wear feet. heels around you. I can't. You're like you're basically like short. Whatever. I don't even care. I'm eight feet. I'm eight feet. Never go after Chrissy, right? She's so interesting and mysterious. Okay. Right? You want Chrissy? 
Are you wearing contacts? I don't even care. Are yes. you wearing contacts, Grace? Damn it. Am I wearing, wearing contacts, contacts to have brown eyes? Is you that your question? Blue. Why are you giving me an attitude? What are you drinking? Why are you drinking water out of a glass, out of a drawer? Why don't you have a water bottle? <laughs> I don't know. Because I'm one of these people. I'm, it's annoying. Yeah. Is it filtered? Is it filtered? <laughs> Is it filtered? <laughs> Yeah. You're not even interested in me. No, you're just doing this to make me feel better. Just go after Chrissy. I That's am. what you really want. I, I get it. No, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I got lots of other options. I don't need you. I don't need, I don't need you. Either. I don't need your Allah Akbar ass. Fuck okay, you. Come on. Don't be rude. Don't be rude. But I got my. It's okay. But um, how are you, Maya? You're the only one that's not mean <laughs> to me. I'm fine. I'm not mean to anybody. What's your tattoo um, on your shoulder? Um, it's a matching tattoo with my friends. It's three little birds and a little heart. Would you ever get a guy's name tattooed on you? I almost did one time, but okay. I'm glad I did. Are you like, do you look for more serious relationships or like? No. Fucking... Are you on Tinder? I'm not on Tinder. I actually got kicked off Tinder. I don't know why. I got off, I got banned off Tinder too. I never, uh, I made a fake account as a girl trying to see how it is as a girl. And then they just banned All me. right. I let her run. <laughs> Actually, a minute longer than I said. All right. So, anyway, does anyone change their answer? Yeah, I changed my answer. Fuck you. I'm not going on a date with you. Fuck you, too. Okay, Maya, your <laughs> answer is the same? Yeah, just. Yeah, the same. Mine the same. Chrissy, your answer stays the same? Yep. Okay. All I right. Feel like better, so. Anyway, that was fun. Thanks for coming on for the second Facts time. don't care about your feelings. You did worse. Bye. Bye. What? <laughs> They Weren't say you? I have an attitude. This girl is worse. <laughs> Weren't you the one that was like trying to convince me to get him on for a second date? Like I believe I believe the reason that I let him come on a second date because I never yeah. to do that was because you wanted me. And now Yeah, you yeah. Well, it was funny. He was in the back chat and he was like, I swear to God, I learned my lesson. I want to come back on. And I was like, okay, let's see it. Let's see how this goes. It's funny because you and Chrissy are actually two peas in a pod. That is not true. That is not true. Chrissy is a brick wall. You can't get through to this girl. Oh, you I'll react. Alex, <laughs> how? Okay, wait, Chrissy, Chrissy, wait, wait. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm not saying this from a mean place. Can you tell me, like, an actor or character in a movie who, like, you're really attracted to? Like, what kind of guy are you like? Mm, that gets me going. Because I, I just can't picture it right now. Does it have to be an actor? I can't just, like, describe yeah, go ahead. Describe. But, like, not just generic stuff. But, yeah, go ahead. I'm curious. I like a guy. I, I think I've always said that. Like, it needs to be masculine enough to put me in my place. And I'll be the nicest ever girl. But it also has to be someone who has something in their head. Like, not just sex and dicks and pussies. Like that's Okay, okay. Well, let me ask you a question then. Okay, so you want a masculine guy. Okay, most girls want a masculine guy, but you're very aggressive. Don't you think most masculine men will be like, ah, oh, she's not worth my time. Like, I'm not going to sit here and break her down. Like, I just want to- I'm aggressive girl. You're the aggressive in here. You both have that in common. You're both brats. You both shit that stuff Yeah, but you're just like a brick wall. Like, you're just like, you just seem mad. Why? Like, how am I a brick wall? These people are just being stupid. Like, I'm not going to entertain someone who's just being stupid. Right. She, and she's, also not a, she's not a streamer like you. This is her first time on, like, a fucking streamer. Also, you got to give Yeah, it's hard. hard. The first time is so hard. That's true. That, that's true. That's true. Also, that's true. your teams are a bit different. Like, I've been to Finland. I've been to, like, that part of the world. They are a bit more, like, kind of a little bit colder, at least initially, than they warm up. Yeah. But they're not like Americans who are, like, much more likely to be bubbly right off the bat. Because, like, I'm... Finnish or Europeans there, like, we are genuine. Like, if we don't, like, we, Americans have this, like, fake thing. Like, they try to have this fake role all the time. I'm not that. And that's why people either hate me or they love me. There's no middle ground there. Because Wait, is that Americans are fake? Oh, yeah. Americans no. have this fucking... <laughs> I, I don't like... I'm not... Oh. 
on on average, I would say Americans on average are probably a bit more fake than Europeans. I feel like humans, like you can't just say Americans. I feel like it's humans. Like, well, it's, it's on no, it's, there's, think there's it's cultural a, differences. I lived in Europe. I've, I've lived in America. On average, Americans tend to be more fake than Europeans. But it depends what part you. Yeah, are. that's true. Miami, that's yes, true. of course. Yeah, Miami is like extra, extra fake. Yeah, people in Miami yeah. can be way more fake than people. But you like, go to the West Coast, and you're not going to say that. Like LA is fake as fuck, but yeah, outside no, of LA, like where I'm from. Like oh yeah, but, but but Chrissy's right. A lot of Americans are like, oh my god, I love that. I, I think it's generally like yeah. Europeans are a bit that more like a just thing. blunt. Like if I don't like that, I'm gonna say like no, I don't fucking like that, and that's Look, why people yeah, think I'm a bitch. A, I'm not a bitch. But being friendly isn't being fake. Being friendly isn't being fake. But like being like overly. Friendly. Like I haven't been a bitch. I, I think I'm pretty, pretty friendly to all these guys. I just, I just don't show emotion if I don't have that. Like, I'm not going to be like, oh my God, I'm so interested in you. Like, wow, you're, you're telling me about your dick. That's amazing. Like, <laughs> come on. Okay, I take it back. Chrissy's pretty funny. Never mind. <laughs> Look, at, at the, the heart of it, the issue is that she's <laughs> in love with me and she doesn't have room in her heart for other guys. And that's just kind of what it comes down to. So it is what it is. I can't change that. All right, cool. Anyway, fun show. Uh, there was a lot of highlights today. Uh, the Tarif one was probably my favorite part. That was just uh, pure entertainment. There were some other good pieces of entertainments. Uh, someone said, probably one of the funniest speed day streams you've had. I agree with that assessment. All right, ladies, uh, let people know where they can find you, I guess. Let's start off with you, Maya. So where can people go to find you, support you, blah, blah, blah? Uh, my Instagram's Miami Mayu. Uh, it's spelled M-A-Y-A-M-I. She's a Miami Mayu. Not, right. not mayo. Not mayo. I'm not mayo. Not mayonnaise. Okay. Grace? I stream with my dad on Thorpe TV on YouTube. It's a YouTube channel. Check it out. We stream not so much recently, but we stream almost every day when we're on a regular schedule about, I don't know, politics, debating, relationships, family stuff, all sorts of stuff. All right. Free Ben. Uh, Chrissy, where can people find Free you? Ben. Free Money Good Ben. Oop, sorry. People can find me Instagram, my name, Chrissy Kinnanen, all just that. And I know it's hard, but that's my Instagram. I have a TikTok that I just deleted because, I mean, it's in Finnish anyway, so none of y'all would understand. Snapchat is the same, Chrissy Kinnanen. Um, yeah, Instagram's probably where I post the most. Yeah, so send your dick pics on her Instagram. That's where she likes them to be sent. Yeah, all right, guys. for sure. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Appreciate you, ladies. Thanks for coming on. Appreciate the chat for tuning in. We had a pretty good turnout today. All right, guys. Love you all, and I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Bye.